have a sketch Mark Marin and Don Marrero on a special tailgate party edition of Short Attention Span Theater. Tonight at 9, here at Comedy Central. Dom, I was wide open. Oh, Mark, I'm sorry. I didn't even know you were playing. Yeah. It's a double fresh taste to you. It's a double fresh breath to you know who. Well, it freshens your mouth and it freshens your breath. Double, double, mm -hmm. double mint gum. Clean, fresh taste for you. Clean, fresh breath for you know who. That's the double freshness you get with double mint gum. Well, it freshens your mouth and it freshens your breath. Double, double. lives in pictures but the parts in between those pictures long stretches of life we too easily forget introducing the nikon nice touch zoom a nikon 35 millimeter zoom for under 129 dollars you will take more pictures you will remember more and perfectly nikon we take the world's greatest pictures yours you know what I hate, man? When you go to see the big gold Buddha and you pick the leaf with the virus on it. Soon the world will be divided into two groups. Infected your brain. What? Those who've experienced Burn Cycle, the ultimate cinematic adventure game. Must be one hell of a virus. And those who think the first group is just strange. Burn Cycle, it's not just a game, it's an infection. Only on CDI. Now get Burn Cycle free when you get into CDI. Here's my mind goofing off. My mom says it probably looks like some vegetable. But no plan could be so smart as to pick one machine that plays Sega Genesis and Sega CDs. That's the JVC XI. She could care. Put your mind to work, she says. I say XI comes with Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia. Hey, it's a CD player. Plus, you get stuff for free. So now it's see what you can do when you apply yourself. One mind, one machine. XI, multi-entertainment system. Call 1-800-JVC-XI. You're too old to sit on a bearded man's lap whispering your secret desires in his ear. So grow up and enter Comedy Central's Santa Never Comes Through For Me sweepstakes. Finally, a shred of hope to get what you want. Look at what you can win. A groovy CDI player from Magnavox. A bold leather jacket from Wilson's. The Leather Experts. A Timex watch. Because it wouldn't be a sweepstakes without a watch. A trip to Jamaica? Sure, you'll stay at the Jamaica Grand and fly on Air Jamaica. And that's not all. Some of you may win a New Line Cinema Dumb and Dumber hat. Yippee! Don't let Santa burn you again. Just send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to Santa Never Comes Through for Me. Sweepstakes, Comedy Central, 1775 Broadway, 10th floor, New York City, New York State, 10019. Hey, this may not be as stimulating as squirming around an old man's knee, but it's far less humiliating. <laughs> You're watching Comedy Central. What the hell is going on here? Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Mike Nelson. I 
Sorry to say I have a really, uh, really pretty bad headache. Ah. Oh, a headache? Oh, yeah. well, that's too bad, Mike. But I've got to practice my cymbals. I got a no. big recital tomorrow. No, no, no. Ah, ah. <laughs> so could you not, uh... Hey, uh, Mike, look what I found here. A bagpipe. <laughs> Any request? Well, sir, well, I have a headache. So uh, I don't know that one. How about Amazing Grace? Well... <laughs> I just saw Seinfeld. Kramer is so much... <laughs> Jeez, Mike, could you keep it down? Man. Yeah, have some consideration. I like Kramer. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, I'm a miracle worker, baby. Oh, yeah, we'll be right back. Oh, that's better. This program is brought to you by Nikon. We remember our lives in pictures. But the parts in between those pictures, long stretches of life, we too easily forget. Introducing the Nikon Nice Touch Zoom, a Nikon 35mm zoom for under $129. You will take more pictures, you will remember more, and perfectly. Nikon, we take the world's greatest pictures, yours. Listen, this stuff that we make, it's powerful. It makes you powerful. This stuff that we make, it's powerful. Take it. Listen. This Gather up your ideas. Make, run with them. It makes you powerful. Just do something amazing. We're in your corner. And we can't wait to see what you're going to do. This stuff that we make, listen, listen, listen. To get noticed, show up in leather. To get leather, show up here. Wilson's, the leather experts. All coats shown on sale, $149.99. It's double wishbone suspension elevates your feel of the road. It's multi-valve engine and speed-sensitive steering elevate your sense of control. While it's looks, well, they will elevate your mood. Introducing the all-new Dodge Avenger. It's more than just a car. It's an elevator. The client everybody's after wants to meet us for dinner. Can you be ready in 10 minutes? Think fast. Think the compact Norelco Speed Razor. Why show up at a 7 p.m. meeting with a 7 a.m. shave? The Norelco Speed Razor. Close and comfortable to go. Mommy says to clean in proper order. Glasses, silverware, dishes, then pans. Or crease. Mommy never says, you, Daddy. Because Dawn's better at breaking grease up and taking it away. Oh, no, we forgot a glass and the water's all greasy. What are we going to do? Let's do what Mommy would do. See? The glass isn't greasy. These are my hands. It goes there. Nice. thought your mother was tough. Dawn takes grease out of your way. Face it, Santa hasn't come through for you in years. And guess what? This year is no different. Unless you enter Comedy Central's Santa Never Comes Through For Me sweepstakes. Don't get suckered again. Watch for details on how you can win. Mike! No! What? Oh. What? I have to relieve the pressure. It's the only way. Oh. Well, at least wear your safety glasses. Oh, you know, that's a good point. Okay. Maybe I should... oh. oh, every time I have a project. What? Got a headache. Good. Look, I'm completely backed up on experiments this week, so I've sent you up a little chemistry set. Invent something, do the paperwork, and send it down to me, okay? Oh, and uh, falsify some lab reports while you're at it. <laughs> chop, chop. Let's see what my little Frank is up to, shall we? Oh, you know, cloning. Mm. Just recombining some DNA that I found in this chunky little piece of amber. Oh, like that's hard. Oh. Well, hey there. Hi, I'm Frank. What's your name? <laughs> Why, Frank, this is fascinating. I think it was my turning the Bunsen burner up that did the trick. Yes, yes, yes. Hi. Oh, No. No. Bad. No. No. Bad. 
Who be with you, Sex Mike, of course? Yeah. No. Hey, cool chemistry sets. I know. <laughs> Servo, drink this. Uh, okay. Here we go. Hmm, kind of a minty sort of thing. I thought it was. <laughs> 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 Oh. Ah. No. Oh. Ah. Servo, what have we done? Uh. Servo, is that you? Servo, kill? Uh. No. Ah. No. no, you don't uh. like Servo? Do. No, 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 we like Servo. It's just that Servo, no kill. No, 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 no. no don't touch Servo. Uh. Don't sorry. touch that. Don't touch Servo. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. No. Uh. Servo hungry. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get you a cookie. Servo no like cookie. Oh, what a baby. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Forrester, help. Oh, he's so cute when he's sleeping, Frank. Yes, he is. I think he's used to me now. And I don't think we have anything to worry about. <laughs> well, your movie this week is a real treat. Ow! Oh, 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 no! It's bad. Oh, high school big shot. Oh, that, oh, that is not nice. Or something. Oh, bad. There's another bag of these. Oh, 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 oh we got movie time. time. Oh, oh, kill movie time. <laughs> Satin tap pants. There are those who would say that the story which follows could happen only in a dream. It'll be bad. Regardless of where it could yes. happen, this is the way it did happen. Movie go away. The story involves Bill Dudley, a mighty darn good wholesale bakery salesman. And that's about it. A character named Red, who actually is nothing more than a file clerk. Huh? And one named Whitey, who is similarly employed, so to speak. Hey, Whitey! It all starts in this rather strange and out-of-this-world office, huh? which keeps the sales records of every wholesale bakery salesman on Earth. Mm -hmm. Or so the story goes. Well, it's your story. Whitey is entrusted with the records of good salesmen. Hate movie! Red, the other kind. The fugitive kind. Now, oh. it seems that Red and oh. Whitey never oh. see eye to eye on oh. Earth. Oh. No. No. Oh. This leads to many arguments. Oh. Our story opens in the midst of a movie. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> must you beat on that confounded yeah, well, thing you all okay? the time? Yeah. Guess it kind of wore off. I'm not beating. <laughs> Weird. I'm playing. Well, whatever it is, it sounds awful. You just teased because another bread root salesman has been transferred from your records to mine. Oh. Bill Dudley. Oh, Tony. I'll get him back on my records again. Looks like it's casual day at 3 a.m. He's my kind of a salesman, that boy. Down, down, down. You're a burning ring of Marvelous fun. record. <laughs> but uh, what about this? Oh. Which, of course, is the reason he's now in my ledger. No fair. There was a war. Strictly a temporary condition. I'll win a Tony one day. Why, at the slightest excuse, he'll slip back into his old habit of taking life easy. <sighs> The way a smart salesman should. Yeah. You're talking through your horns again. <laughs> Wouldn't want to make a little bet on that now, would you? Like what? Oh, say... A dollar. A new set of asbestos points for my pitchfork against... You'd think hell would just provide those. A new set of strings for that thing. Mm. On the level? Strictly on the level. Of course, if you're afraid, mm -hmm. I'll become Dr. Smith. I don't frighten easily. Go on. Talent's turning blue. Could we have some well, heat, please? Now, suppose an attractive young lady were to ride the route with this Bill Dudley. Yeah. Say she's a magazine writer and is mm. after material for an article. Mm. Say she makes fun of the way he works. Say I'm starring in Forever Class. <laughs> That's all it would take to get him back into my way of selling again. Mm. You think so, huh? I'm willing to bet on it. Mm. So I guess... La, 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 la. But uh, la, 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 how could we la, la, up la, la. here fix it so that a, a magazine writer down there... Has my mm. dance belt shifted? Oh, no. 
No, not me. Why not? The trip will do you good. I'll cover your phones. Of course, I haven't been down there in a long time. There's a receding hairline. Even on business. <laughs> That's the way to talk. Uh, and and perhaps, uh, as a little added distraction from his work... I'll do community theater. I'll make you bigger, yes. stronger. But perhaps something a little more... Uh, Mamie eisenhower <laughs> hmm. oh, I never let the devil dress you. Or perhaps even... Oh, no, don't you dare. No magic and no miracles is against the rules. <laughs> If I go, I'll go like this. Undercover oh, angel. No. All right. Is it a bet? They're operating under a different mm. theology. Mm. All right, it's a bet. I'll put this Bill Dudley to the test. Dun, dun, da, da, dun, dun, da, da, da. Try new enriched stuff. <laughs> you just saw Howard Hughes in the desert. Let me see if I got this whole thing straight now. You're a writer. Mm-hmm. And you want to do an article on modern food merchandise. That's right. And you work for the devil. Said it was okay for you to write with me today. Uh-huh. And it's the 50s. Well, it's okay with me then, but I'm sure I have a tough time making my wife believe this one. Mm, well, so would I. Come on. So you can bilocate and assume animal form. Uh-huh. Mm. She's going to blow the lid off the whole bread wholesaling racket. She's naming names. Uh, never mind those magazines. I barely read them. Except for American Muscle Woman. That's interesting. Now we unload the first van at William Conrad's house. We leave orphan bread on people's doorsteps? <laughs> Why do they keep the bread in dresser drawers? This is Charles Perrault. I'll leave you now with images of bread. All right, my life is hell. What do you want from me? How do you mess up at this job? Well, that's how Whitey started out to prove her point. But Red was not far behind. That's how Whitey keeps us down. Hey, <laughs> you're not down here just for the ride, you know. Start working on the guy. We got a bet on. Even the devil won't go to the Bronx. It kind of sucks. I got to take your notes, lady. Hey. Can I split your top and butter your buns? Say, you know, this seems to be an awfully dull job that you have. Oh? What gave you that idea? It wasn't my... I mean, uh, well, after all, it is just a delivery man's job, isn't Not it? Not just! Young lady, take it from me. Any guy who thinks this is just a delivery job belongs in a coal truck. Not a bread booth. I'm running you in, lady. You're under arrest for impeding bread delivery. So then Mabel said to me, well, why did you wear those earrings? And then we went to Nine West, but we couldn't find anything we wanted because I have really wide feet, but sometimes I can find stuff at Payless. Anywho, Cindy told me that Victoria's Secret was just around the corner, and she said they're having a sale, and she knows I'm really broke right now, so I confronted her, and, well... And I better call the cops on her. I never sat on a loaf of bread before. It feels great. Maybe I should take that job as a mouseketeer. Shut up pretty soon. I'm going to stuff her full of croutons. Get your buns out of my truck. Quit loafing in my van. You really take the cake. <laughs> you got a lot of crust to come around here. <laughs> come on, you and me, mano a mano. Now let's take a look at the lighter side of wholesale bread delivery. Young lady, you sit there. I'll be right back. I need some time alone with my bread. Doesn't she look smart? Today's career gal in her new fashion from Weibo. Yeah. The Mahavishnu Orchestra. Well? Well, I told him I thought he was a dope not to work it to be the first one in every day. Good, Stanley. I told him I thought all this push on getting good displays, just a lot of front office talk. Couldn't have phrased it better myself. Yeah. Why keep a close check on how your load's going, I said. You can always dump it on the last half dozen stops. Excellent. And what did he say? Uh, Nothing. That's the trouble. He just sat there listening and looking very thoughtful. There, you see? What did I tell you? My bet's practically won. You know, I would have sworn that nothing could make him slip back into his old selling ways. Uh-uh. 
Rusty Maltz. Hmm. Must be new on the force. I got donuts. Okay. Come back. <laughs> You've talked, and I've listened. Now it's my turn. I talk, and you listen. First of all, take a look. A loaf of bread. Eat every piece. An important food. A healthy food. <laughs> and a basic food that can be served in more than a hundred different ways. Actually, one. Give a look. Not just one kind of mm. bread, but a whole variety. And not only bread, but a whole variety of all types of baked goods. Are you, by any chance, trying to say that you think this business of yours is important? That's exactly the way I feel about it. I have to. It's all I got. There's something about that guy's tone of voice I don't like. It's so But just butch. because we're important in the food picture doesn't mean a guy can sit back and take it easy on this job. Hmm? Why not? Dakota Sport V6 has more. More horsepower. More shoulder room. More hip room. And more cargo room than a comparable Ford Ranger or Chevy S10. But you don't have to put everything you've got into it. Dakota Sport V6. A little bigger, a lot better. At America's truck stop, the new Dodge. You know what I hate, man? When you go to see the big gold Buddha and you pick the leave with the virus on it. Soon the world will be divided into two groups. Infected to Bray. What? Those who've experienced Burn Cycle, the ultimate cinematic adventure game. Must be one hell of a virus. And those who think the first group is just strange. Burn Cycle, it's not just a game, it's an infection. Only on CDI. Now get Burn Cycle free when you get into CDI. We remember our lives in pictures. But the parts in between those pictures, long stretches of life, we too easily forget. Presenting the Nikon Light Touch Zoom, the world's smallest 35 millimeter autofocus zoom. You will take more pictures. You will remember more and perfectly. Nikon, we take the world's greatest pictures, yours. Watch a new season of Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, the show where four guests and a host get hot and bothered by the headlines of the day. The issue is there are people coming in to teach them how to use the condoms in school, and that's where I draw the line. I mean, they bring artificial parts into the classroom. Why, 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 why did you draw the that, line? Why is that because wrong? I really think that that is inappropriate. Is it the artificial parts? It's not inappropriate. Yes, I mean, <laughs> Experience Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. Weeknights at 10, only at Comedy Central. All right, go along. Mark and Dog. They make Aikman and Irvin look like a couple of AMA uh, uh, professionals. Catch them on a special football blooper edition of Short Attention uh, Span Theater. Tonight at 9, here at Comedy Central. End of lesson one. It was the 32, no, no, 36 Olympics, and Jesse Owens breaks the stinking world record. So as I turn around in my seat, flip eight off the bird and says, Pay up, you cheap crowd bastard! Huh. It's jerks like that that end up as supervisors. It's the circus of the devil! <laughs> no thanks, I use toilet paper. <laughs> if you're gonna tempt a guy, don't send Claire Booth loose. Please observe silence while visiting the Bread Memorial. Mm. You know, sausage. When I first started on the route, I acted like it was nothing more than a delivery job. I don't care. Take this gross of goodwill business. There's not an article you know in this. I used this. to go after that. Well, I used Look, to go into stores go. and slam doors. And... Hey, Dr. Diggle. Hey, stuffy old boy. How's the old miser today? Got your gold again, huh? I had a Brooklyn <laughs> accent and a different personality. <laughs> when bread wholesalers terrorize the community. Everybody down, the bread man is here. <laughs> I'll do anything you say. Let the reign of terror end. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's Christine Jorgensen. Oh, sorry, Duff. Not the Happy's Ripple Chips. Come on, done, huh? See you again, Duff. <laughs> it must have been awful. Well, maybe it wasn't quite that bad. Anyway, today I go after a grocer's goodwill a little different. I'll show you. Watch me come on to a grocer. Mm. Morning, 
house, Marco. Come on. Uh, just put the salmon balls away. Mr. Marco, you want my coffee ring today? Sure be a shame if something bad happened to your store here. How are you today? Uh, I'm a feel lousy. No, I'm sorry to hear that. Because I like you, Mr. Marco. Hey, something new. Be a shame if this ran over your kid. Hey, these are pretty slick. Uh, you noticed that, eh? Sure did. Yeah, I bet your customers will go for them, too. Uh, with my customers, maybe yes, maybe no. Uh, we'll see. Go on, you know doggone well they will. Okay, they will. They don't argue right me. Back. I played it nice this time, see? You see, I want every grocer on my route thinking, what a moron. That Bill Dudley is okay. Never slams doors. Always seems friendly, always got a smile. What's he on? Always interested in my store. Treats my place with respect. What does he want from Never me? Never slams his trays around or makes a nuisance of himself. Why can't he leave me alone? I like to do business with salesmen like that. But his bread sucks. <laughs> Believe me, building up goodwill is important. Without it, you get nowhere in selling today. Look, why don't you stay here and rest a minute while I go in and check the sales? Come on off now. Oh, I wouldn't think of it. The devil's going to show up as a hooker now. <laughs> I'm this new office for I don't like the way that guy's yakking. I do. You would. You're a girl. If you want my opinion, he's in a rut. Oh, well, if you want mine, he's in the groove. Uh, thanks for the match, lady. What match? Oh, uh, oh, yes, you're welcome. Haven't I seen that guy before somewhere? Beer wine. Wine made from fresh beer. Now, I was going to tell you about the second bullseye of mine. Plus volume. One way to go after it is to use this and this. A hat and a pad. Like this? That, my young lady, is my business Bible. Huh? I've got a complete and up-to-date picture on every stop on my route. Measurements of every woman on my route. I know exactly what sells in each store and what doesn't. I know what new items I've tried in each stop. How each one is done. No guesswork. The facts are all there and they're up-to-date. You're reaching out, aren't you? Well, team up these facts with a little bit of this. And you can go after plus volume without the risk of getting stuck with a lot of returns. So a guy gets returns, so what? Let the boss worry about him. <laughs> <laughs> Going over to Al Lewis's house. But why does the strip club need bread? Here's something else a fella can do to get plus volume. Watch me in here. Oh no, run! I can't believe I had to waste him. You didn't have to shoot him in the face. Oh, <laughs> forgot the bread. <laughs> Say, Mr. O'Connor. I don't live with my yes, mother. Bill. I'm uh, putting in a half a dozen of these new sweet doughs. They were never so good last year. We're running them again. You're telling me how to run my Since store? It's a good profit item. I'm sure you want to keep an eye on them, see how they're going. Look, I got a restraining order on you. A sample. See for yourself how good they are. Oh, thanks, Bill. Take it out of the wrapper first. You see, talking it up is another key to getting plus volume. You can get in a good plug when you introduce a new package, a new product, or a special. Yeah, that's how it works. The more you talk it up, the better chance of getting him to push it. Then the kids will buy it. But what was all this mumbo-jumbo business with so many of this at so much and so many of that at so much at the last store? <laughs> oh, the count check. That's something I always do before I put the stuff on the shelves. Avoids mix-ups later on. Thanks for the and carousel. this is especially important in big bakery departments. You see, in supermarkets, there are a lot of bakery salesmen coming in. They're like roaches. And the count check also reminds the grocer of what baked goods of mine he's got to sell. Niels Bohr buys groceries. The better he knows my products, the better chance of getting his help and selling them. And that makes for plus volume for me. And that means money. Money I can cover my naked butt with. Third mm -hmm. bullseye of mine. Selling displays. You know, I'm filled with resentment. That can be a little rough. You see, well, take this route of mine. I've got all kinds of bread racks and display shelves. Some of them are pips. I guess other guys' routes are the same way. I used to give up easy on displays. I had only one rule I followed. Kill or be killed? As long as the stuff didn't fall on the floor while I was there, it was okay. I was a sick man. No more, though. Now I just throw it on Believe the floor. Believe me, there's no trick or mystery to building good selling displays. Well, a platypus could do my job. Just stack the bread so the brand name shows best. And shows off the bread to best advantage. I love each of my loaves. And give the specialty loaves the best display space. And don't squash bread to get it in. If a store is selling more bread than I got room for in my display space, 
Then we got a problem. I talked to the grocer about giving me more room. Say, near the checkout counters. Or around the counter next to the register. Maybe I rough him up. Maybe I bust his chops. Now, baked goods are impulse items, too. So I always display them as near eye level as I can. So they're easy to see <laughs> and easy to reach. Never put donuts next to the kitty litter. Well, you figure it. A shopper spends an average of only 35 seconds in a baked goods department. Hey, lady, There's not me. much time for your display to work on them. I'm especially brat. So me. display it within easy reach. Group the items together. Keep from burying any item out of sight. In a shallow grave. But you know... Sometimes I want to put a bullet in my skull. None of the other bread boys are doing that much. So how do you get the jump on them? Maybe rough them up a little. With special display and promotion ideas. Hmm? Take the other day. I noticed the stop on my route was running a special on hamburger. Okay. So I talked the grocer into including rolls in a special display next to the hamburger. It didn't work. That's where getting goodwill pays off. If you got the grocer's goodwill, you can get extra selling displays in the store built around special promotions. Picnic displays. Especially good just before holidays and weekends in summer. School lunch idea displays. Especially good in fall. He's going over the edge. Stop him. Better breakfast displays. Or any others that tie in with national promotions. I'm making over three million a year. Seasonal promotion displays. Fruitcakes around Thanksgiving Speaking and Christmas. Speaking of fruitcakes. <laughs> Hot cross buns and Easter cakes at Easter time. Funeral breads. War breads. Displays that suggest ideas for all types of entertaining. Okay, we'll buy the I bread. I use all the banners and cards and streamers or printed promotional material I can get. Anything to give any display more sell. The triumph of the bread! But all this talk of mine boils down to just this. This is a tough business. A mighty competitive business. I've been shot twice. But for the guy who aims for grosser goodwill, plus volume, and selling displays, Divided by four. can be a darn good one, too. Well, now, that was quite a speech. Oh, I'm sorry if I bored you. I... Bored me? Oh, no, no, quite the opposite. You terrified me. Tell me, how in the world do you get all of those things done? Oh, the whole secret to that is taking it in small chunks. And uppers, dexies, speed. Maybe one week I'm shooting for special displays in ten of my best stops. Next week, ten more, and so on. After all, that's only two a day. Or maybe my goal for this week is to spend a couple of extra minutes in my biggest volume stops just to work on goodwill. I steal bikes on the side. Always got something cooking at a few stops. Always something aimed at one of these bullseyes. Mm -hmm. Grosser goodwill, plus volume, selling displays. And are you sure nobody could unsell you on these things? Not a chance. I like the payoff too much. Five bucks a week. Well, don't you ever slip up? You coming on to me? Sure, I'm just as human as the next guy. That's why I keep these bullseyes handy. So that a small slip up doesn't turn into a big trip up. Oh, uh -huh. well, off to the races. What do you say? Make sure you stock your truck up so that you don't, well, you know. Damn you all to my place. Huh, it's going to turn out the bread truck driver's Jesus. And another great thing about bread. It's really great. Yeah, that's you... fine. Okay. Hope you accept bread in your life. To sell this piece of tripe to a magazine? Jeez. Grosser goodwill. Plus volume. Fay acting. Displays. Flamboyant prancing. Okay, so you want to bet. But Bill Dudley's just one guy. Oh, well, uh, maybe I better drop down and see some of the other fellows on your list. Oh, no, you don't. I just waxed that. After all, that was only a bet. But from now on, I'm going to keep a pretty close watch on these guys. Especially when they're <laughs> showering. And so will I. <laughs> Smoke on the water. <laughs> okay, Jerry, shut out the projector. <laughs> Some broad, eh, guys? No, I'm just kidding, of course. <laughs> but you want to remember the three basic points. Plus <laughs> factor. You know, after watching that short, I've come to understand that with the limited shelf space available, I have to put more stock into specialty bread. Yeah, that's right. You know, you just can't rely on your sweet doughs anymore. Nope. It's all going the way of specialty breads. Now, in a nutshell, specialty breads are all the breads that aren't white bread. 
Yeah. For instance, here's one of my specialty breads. It's a bread that has a shampoo and conditioner built right in. My bread has thousands of tiny loaves baked right in. I have a specialty bread that's normal bread, except it comes to a sharp point. What if you had a bread that doubled as a foot ointment? That would be a specialty bread. You know, I have a butter top bread that's actually studded with bars of real butter. Then you, my friend, have a specialty bread. I think what I am learning is that now, more than ever, it's specialty breads. Specialty, specialty breads. breads. We'll be right back. With Dodge Neon's dual airbags and side impact beams, the question isn't safety. With the new Neon Coupe's multi-valve overhead cam engine and fully independent suspension, the question isn't performance. Two doors or not two doors, that is the question. Say hello to the other Dodge Neon, the Coupe. And the friendly Dodge dealers who sell it. That's a porcupine fish. Whoa! Programs like Dangerous Creatures make a splash with a Pentium processor inside your PC. What's a piranha eat? <laughs> you don't want to know. The Intel Pentium processor. Here's the layout. I like it. ProShare Video puts you in touch fast with a Pentium processor inside your PC. <laughs> Working at home must be great. <laughs> yeah. The Intel Pentium processor. Kids see through these little camera viewfinders. Who wouldn't rather have a much bigger view like this? It's the Sure Shot Owl. You're sure to get your shot with the Sure Shot Owl. Try to remember the name. <laughs> From who else? But Cannon. <laughs> scary how clear it is. It's only a movie. Except on a Sony big screen TV. Oh good. Something romantic. Great! Once in a lifetime interview and you oversleep? Move it! Think fast. Think the compact Speed Racer. When you have to put your best face forward on the go, the Norelco Speed Racer. Close and comfortable to go. I used to think that panty liner protection was a contradiction in terms. Then I tried always panty liners with wings. They cover more than regular liners. They have dry weave and better panty protection at the sides. I love it. Always panty liners with wings. You want one? You asked for it. Well? Please. I'm reeling from the milk chocolate as it melts in my mouth. You didn't notice? Notice what? What is she talking about? I don't know. I understand you're a friend of Harry Martin. Mm -hmm. Harry Martin. Mm -hmm. Best safe cracker around. Maybe the best in the business. Never heard of him. Is this the screen test? Okay. Just thought you might be interested in the deal. Wait a minute, kid. Kind of a deal. Those lips. What difference does it make? He has a haunting ugliness. You didn't know him. <laughs> yeah, make friends real easy. What kind of a deal? You're drunk. Forget it. Is this a Warhol film? A million dollars. Cash. The autobiography of Miss Tom Pittman. This suitcase for hire. The Potsy Story. Hey, let me out of here. The high school big shots. The real high school big shots. They open with such strong imagery. High school big shot. He's a big shot in high school. Big shot, big shot, big shot, big shot, big shot, big shot. So the big shot's in band. Big deal. Give them horns. Yeah, come on. Jackie. A monkey's gonna come in and start throwing that suitcase around. Those two class ladies, a big shot. Yes, a big shot. He skipped B because he's a big shot. Some big old big shot. Hey. Look at the two absolute back to do job. Wow. Hit me. 
or anus. All right, any questions? At this point, Hamlet picks up the skull of Yorick and delivers a famous speech. Now, uh, to whom was this speech delivered? Uh, Richard Dawson. Was Red Sanford? Uh, Larry Hovis. Vince, would you mind answering the question, please? Look at your mouth. You got such a funny little mouth. Vince. The nipples. Up. Oh. I'm held more by the question of Hamlet's madness, sir. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Carter. Would you repeat the question, please? To whom was Hamlet's famous graveside speech delivered? I don't know, ma'am. I didn't catch the name and address on the envelope. <laughs> Mr. Mouth, please. That's very amusing, Vince. I don't think that you'll find a failing mark in this course quite as jocular. Dun, 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 dun. Dress on the envelope. Do you hear that? How do you think of them? <laughs> Marvin? Gabul! Would you answer the question, please? What, and get beat up again? It's not even that his lips are big. Yes, sir, the, uh... Here. The speech is from Act 5, Scene 1, delivered to Horatio and the Grave Digger. Okay. Very good. If some of the others of you would emulate Marvin, concentrate your efforts toward learning something, you might all be a lot better off. Well, I guess that should be enough for today. I uh, just want to remind you that your term papers are due on Wednesday. And for several of you who are on the borderline, you might profit by putting a little extra time and energy into this paper. Well, time to go have better sex than you have ever had in your whole life, sir. Is that Lincoln or Dr. Zayas on the wall? I'll meet you by the launch room of Pansy, Marvin. <laughs> I won't live through the day. Thanks a lot, oh, Marvin, sir. Marvin, can I see you a second? Yes, sir. Have, uh, have you given any more thought to college? The term's going to be over in a week, you know. You're 28. You should graduate. I I still haven't made up my mind what I'm going to do, sir. Oh, Marv, you had so much to offer. It's a shame if you don't take advantage of it. You've got a cute shape. You know, sir, I, I'd like to go to college, but... Well, it costs money, you know. Yes, I know. And I'm still working on that scholarship for you. I think maybe we'll be able to figure something out. Oh, I sure hope so. Thank you, Mr. Carter. Now run along and enjoy your beating, son. Hey! Liver lift! You <laughs> beep! <laughs> the stupidest thing oh, here this. He's a Cabbage Patch Robert Reed. Oh, he's digging in his ear. Ugh. What is that, chicken? I'm going to wipe it on my pants. No, no, no. Hey, Fink. Hmm? What's the idea of trying to make a fool out of me in that? I thought it went okay. I understand what you mean. That's oh, all. Yeah. Oh, you know what I mean. Answer that question like you were some kind of a king or something. Well, he's threatened his lips and gorge. Okay, then. Look, anytime you think hey. you're better than me, we... Hmm? Just the paws off of me. And put him on me. When did you start playing nursemaid to this creep? Oh, <laughs> playing nursemaid. You started trying to be Tarzan or somebody. That's all right, Betty. No, it's not. Now get out of here and leave him alone, you animal. Okay, baby. If you want to play mother. Well, oh, oh. I'm not going to stand in your way. <laughs> not when you're playing nursemaid. Can <laughs> I see you tonight? No. I have other plans. I'm sharpening my breast. Okay, baby. You change your mind, just give me a call. Oh, so you elbowed me there at the end. You probably want to come back and apologize. My belt is caught on the tree. Let's go to picture, picture. You didn't have to do that, Betty. Maybe you're getting mad or something. What do I care? Betty Pants. The world's full of guys like that. You're kind of special. Well, look, I'm serious. In a completely insincere way. I've kind of wanted to say this to you for a long time. You've got dandruff and weird-smelling breath. Betty, you go with Vince, Lombardi. He's sort of the star <laughs> of the whole school. Boys like Vince will never amount to anything. Oh, I've got some cheese. Oh, boy. Ugh. Betty, will you go out with me? No, I go out with Vince. I practically asked you out, haven't I? Well, yeah, I mean, well how about tonight? I thought you said you were busy tonight. I'm busy for him. Hope you like sitting alone in dark rooms. Sure. Fine. Pick me up at eight. Okay, I'll pick you up at eight. Does drool bother you? <laughs> I'll see you then. Yeah. Betty? Do you have any extra underpants? Oh. Well, what about Vince? He'll join us later. Don't worry about Vince. I can take care of him. I have nothing to say or feel about this situation. Mark, that you? Yeah, Bob, it's me. 
Marv has date city stunned. Everything's all okay today? Uh-huh. Oh, what was it today, son? Swirly, book dump, titty twister, monkey bump, wedgie? Hey, how come you're getting all dressed up? I got a date tonight. Real sharp girl I met down Tony's. Well, I've got a date tonight, too. You do? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, with? Betty Alexander? No, really, Betty who? Alex. Hey. Hey, she's the best-looking chick in the whole school, ain't she? Ooh. Ooh. Sure is. What in the world's she going out with you for? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, loser. I'm your son. How's mom, dad? Oh, that's okay, Papa. No, I'm not much, but she likes me. Gee, you're fine, fine. Just a chip off the old block after all, huh? Don't ever say that again, yeah, I guess Dad. Guess so. Gee, how else can I scar him? Uh, son, you have a tiny winky. Hey, hey Marv. The school called. Everyone hates you. <laughs> I was wondering, you, you got any money on you? <laughs> For a couple of dollars, Pop, but look here. This is a real fancy girl, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, I'm going to have to take her out to supper, probably, and... Well, you know. I know, Pop, but I got a date tonight myself. I don't get paid until the 15th. How much you got? Well, <laughs> six dollars and some change. Tell you what, we'll split even, okay? I love you, Dad. Okay, Pop. Oh, and son, I ate the last can of dog food. Thanks. Uh, by the way, son, Merry Christmas. You know, maybe if they sold off one of those Tiffany lamps. Mm. <laughs> nice. Oh. By the way, I think I'm going to have a job next week. Really? Yep. <laughs> I met a guy today who's sure he can put me on full time. Yep. I'm going to sell my plasma door to door. You slow, Pop. Come into my house, eat my bananas, and mock me. Hey, don't worry, boy. I'll hang on to this one. No more booze for me, I promise. His beer booze? <laughs> Pretty soon we'll have money enough to get out of this dump. You can quit that crummy job of yours and go to college like you want. Then we'll be married. Like your mother wanted you to. Before I drank her, I unscrewed her head and drank out of her neck. Well. I know, Pop. Thanks, kid. Have a good time tonight, huh? You too, Pop. Three bucks. I'm going to buy a french fry, Pop. I love my life. What would you call eight hours of these two? We call it the Abfabathon. Eight hours of the controversial hit British comedy that's got class in a classless, tasteless sort of way. Watch it. Tomorrow at noon here at Comedy Central. If you're not playing on a 3DO system, what are you playing with? Presenting 3DO, the most advanced home gaming system in the universe. It's time to put away your toys. 3DO from Panasonic Gold Star and Creative Labs. Now $3.99 plus free games. Who could see through these little camera viewfinders? Who wouldn't rather have a much bigger view like this? It's the Sure Shot Owl. You're sure to get your shot with the Sure Shot Owl. Try to remember the name. <laughs> From who else? But can it? This Christmas, give something that will make them ho, ho, ho all year long. <laughs> give the shower massage a Vitaladine water pack. Here's a chip that's got more ridginess. New Pringles Ridges, it's more crunch. Yeah. If crunch is what you can't resist, a Pringles Ridge is more crunch than this. Crunch. Golden tasty crunchiness, not this bad chip's greasy mess. But the Pringles Ridges, it's more crunch. Yeah. More crunch. Once you pop Ridges, you can't stop. I've just discovered something quite shocking. Most ordinary credit cards charge interest from the moment you buy something, if you carry a balance as little as a dollar. Thankfully, American Express has introduced a new credit card called the Optima True Grace Card. It has a low interest rate if you choose to extend payment. 
no annual fee if you use it three times a year. And you get an interest-free grace period on each new purchase, even when you carry a balance. It's a good thing. But don't just throw away your old credit cards. Recycle them. I'm retiling my swimming pool. Apply today. Call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. The sooner you apply for the new Optima True Grace credit card from American Express, the sooner you'll cut your interest charges. It's a good thing. And keep recycling those old credit cards. Apply today. Call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. So are we going to walk the alleys all night? I'm sorry, Betty Ellis. Oh, that's okay. At least it was a good movie. I've never walked to a drive-in before. It's just that I... Well, I had to give some money to Pop and... Oh, I... just forget it. I'm having a lovely time. Ready? Can I sniff your bra? I've got almost a dollar left. Would you like to have a Coke? I'd love it. Thanks a lot, Agnew and Khashoggi. Leave on in the hearts. Tonight only, Coke's a dollar ten. Well, this guy grabs this chick by the neck, see? And he gives her a couple of whacks right across the face. <laughs> Man, he likes to knock her head off. Hey, come on, that's a delightful story. Hey, Daddy, you don't dig my act or something? What's the matter, Benny? That chick Betty bugging you? Ah, she don't bug me none. Yeah, why should she? If we got so much stuff around here, we have to beat it off with a club. Yeah, so where's it all here? Hey, am I seeing right? Oh, man, I don't believe it. They beam down. I must be cracking. How's the German Expressionist date going? What is she doing with that thing? Well, I thought the zoo closed at 6 o'clock. It yeah. does, but hey. So how come you don't want any animals out for a walk? Very funny. Special dialogue by Neil Simon. <laughs> Look, Betty, I, I think we better go on home. I've got some homework to do. You aren't going to let these big apes scare you away, are you? No, it's not that. It's just I've got some homework to do. Okay, come on. Wetting your pants is considered homework, right? Well, good night, boys. Better stay off the streets before the dog catcher sees you without your licenses. To the moon, Alice. <laughs> Boy, she sure got salty in a big hurry. Where does that cheap broad come off? Talking to us like that. Hey, that's the cheap broad I hey. love. Let's follow him and give him a going over, huh? People pick a song over there? The guy in the story that Bert was telling me. Oh. You guys stay here. It's been a really fun book club, though. Hey, that's your nail clipper. I thought you said that chick didn't move you. She don't. Not at all. He is a wonderful puzzle, isn't he? <laughs> this place has all the atmosphere of a ground round. And that's why The Plague is my favorite book. Thanks, Marv. I had a real good time. This is where Mr. Hooper died. Mm. Well, it would have been better if I'd had more money. Next time, maybe. You mean there's going to be a next time? Well, if you want it. If I want it, of no, course I, I do. I hate it when his face lights I up. I was just afraid. <laughs> well, I'm not real smart or anything. I... And I don't have any arms. I thought I might be kind of dull. <laughs> the what, huh? Oh, no. You're not dull. Remember, I'm into Shakespeare. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, your talk of hemlines kept me riveted. Marv, I hate to ask you for a favor or anything. Go ahead, anything you want. <laughs> well, it's Mr. Carter's Shakespeare class. You know, I'm kind of on the borderline. If I don't pass this class, I'm not going to graduate. And my old man will kill me for sure. Well, if you write a good term paper, you'll pass. That's just <laughs> it. So I don't understand him. Sh Shakespeare, I mean. He's, he's so deep. Don't smile. No. I don't know what to do. You want me to write a paper for you? Oh, no. I just thought maybe you'd help me a little bit. I don't mind. It'll only take me a couple of hours. Would you? I mean, would you really? A little secret might be the shot. Thanks, Marv. I'll never forget it. I could write a dissertation, a series of books. Well, good night. Uh, they'll pop up. I'll see you tomorrow. Marv? Hello? Perhaps an analysis of Lear? Ten pages, double space? Hmm? Night, sweet prince. Oh, Vince. Will you write a paper for Stay me? Look, what's with you two? Rebooting. With me and Mars? 
Come on, I can't hold the space much longer. Oh, you can't be serious. Look, you were with him. You went out with him instead of me. He had $3. Well, honey, I just wanted him to write my term paper for me. Would he write mine if I kissed him? You sure that's all? Well, of course, Billy. You don't think I could possibly see anything in him, do you? Well, if you're just giving him sex for term papers, well, I, I don't think so. Well, you see, actually, it's kind of for us. If I don't pass the course, I won't graduate. My parents won't let us get married or anything. She is a saint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, would you write my shop project? But the... Why'd you kiss him? Kiss him? You can't miss his lips. They just ran into me. <laughs> you call that a kiss? I think so. Do I have the wrong word again? <laughs> now, this is what I call a kiss. Ah, uh, Vince, smooth as silk. <laughs> Harry Malloy! Betty? Yeah? Sorry I made you work the docks for our day. <laughs> what? Have you ever thought about marrying anybody? And suffocating them in a loveless union? Sure. You no, know, I wanted to marry Rock Hudson once, but he was taken at the time, so... Then I decided I'd marry Gary Cooper, and I found out he had a daughter older than me, so... I'm serious, Betty. I know I have a moist face. <laughs> you know what I'm getting at. I think you ought to marry Vince. After all, Marvin, you have to go to college and everything. I won't go to college. I'll get a full-time job. I bet Mr. Matthews will put me on for $75 a week. $75? I guess I misled you just a little. I mean, you're sweet and smart. Noily. I think someday you'll really be somebody important. You'll be ootant. Little Betty is ready to settle down and try and live on seventy-five dollars a week. Seventy-eight. Seven. too long for that. Eighty. Oh, look! I'd I better be going. My old man will be full of questions. He thinks I'm a tramp. Hmm? What's the matter? You said your father thinks you're a tramp. This one is feeling good. If you can hear some of the things he's one night when my mom was out. He... I never complete it. I never finish it. One day I'm going to show him. I'm going to come back here with my diamonds and my furs, and I'm going to throw them right in his face. Huh. Now, hold still, son. All right. Hmm? How come you ain't out with Betty tonight? You no, know, she wanted to stay home tonight. She said it makes her old man happy if she stays in every once in a while. Oh, I see. So, want to get a porn movie? <clears throat> really think it's time we consider that suicide path. Hey, could you massage my feet? What would you say if I got married again? Well, you should clear it with Mom. Well, what brought that on, Pop? Well, I, I figure you'll be through school soon. Probably be going to college or getting married, maybe. Man's got to have someone look after him in his old age. I got that job coming up. Going to be town drunk. Is she the girl you met down at Tony's Pop? I'm not sure. I think so. You love her? Oh, she's a wonderful kid. She runs a tilter world. Sweet as pie. You know what I mean? And twice as fattened. <laughs> Who are you trying to convince? Me or you? No, really. She's different. She has an extra hip. Really disturbing. Ooh, Pop, if you got married, you'd have to hold a job. I would, boy. I'd do anything in the world for her. Isn't unemployment a job? Well, I guess you love it, then. Not as such, no. Would you mind? Getting off my foot? No. I think it's great. When's a big day? Well, you see, son, she lives in the Thimble Kingdom, and she has to defend the mushroom people before we can marry. That isn't settled. Her, her name is Thimbleina, by the way. She milks butterflies, and she's charmed. If I touch her, I turn to wood. <laughs> Pop, have you asked her yet? The fact is, I haven't, but that won't be no problem, boy. I can tell. See, once I'm elevated to full dwarfdom... Uh... I'm real happy for you, Pop. Then join us at the Emerald Gathering. Wow, huh? Yeah. I guess there's okay. nothing in the whole world as nice as being in love. Hi, honey. I'm home. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Mind if I ask you about your new Hewlett Packard DeskJet 540 printer? Hang on. I'm hanging. Quite a smart choice, wouldn't you say? By the looks of these, I can see you've been hard at work this evening. 
Yeah, diligently working away as your faithful desk jet 540 prints out page after great looking page. <gasps> What's wrong? I missed a two foot putt. Don't you hate that? The new Desk Jet 540 printer from Hewlett Pack. Who, who could see through these little camera viewfinders? Who wouldn't rather have a much bigger view like this? It's the Sure Shot Owl. You're sure to get your shot with the Sure Shot Owl. Try to remember the name. <laughs> from who else? A cannon. Want to make someone happy this holiday season? Give them a phone from Radio Shack. We have over 80 terrific phones. They'll admire the styles, appreciate features like big buttons, adore the convenience of an extra long range cordless, and though they won't love every single call they get. Congratulations! Act now! You've just won a free trip! They will love the phones. Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. This holiday season, remember, most ordinary credit cards charge interest from the moment you buy something, if you carry a balance as little as a dollar. So buy your presents with the new Optima True Grace card from American Express and get an interest-free grace period on each new purchase, even when you carry a balance. It's a jolly good thing. And keep recycling those old credit cards. I'm decorating my tree. Apply today. Call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. My son says I spoil the grandkids, especially at Christmas. Sure, I've been going to Burger King to get him all those great Disney glasses. But I didn't get him every glass. There's still a Lion King. And the movie's back in theaters now. So I had to get him this one, too. It's just 89 cents. And it's only at Burger King with any Whopper value meal. Okay, so I spoil him a little. I'm a grandma. That's my job. Burger King, get your burgers worth. What's inside this new, extraordinary kind of antiperspirant? Provides the most effective dryness protection man has ever seen. Only it's not for a man, it's for a woman. With a pH balanced formula, goes on ultra dry. And because it vanishes like that, it keeps you drier than any other kind out there. Now you're just two clicks away from the most incredible dryness protection ever. Because this is new secret ultra dry. And what's inside is as good as it gets. New Secret Ultra Dry Soft Solid. It's strong enough for a man, but now it's ultra dryness for a woman. Well, it sure is quiet. I wonder where everyone is. Uh-oh. <laughs> Go! Ow! Ooh! Ah! Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! Hey, you guys, get back here. I mean it. <laughs> you talking to us, Mr. Nelson? Yeah, something wrong, Mr. Nelson? Yeah, you got a problem, Mr. Nelson, stupid? <laughs> yeah, I got a problem. What you did was so wrong. Oh, no. Yeah. Please enlighten us. Yeah. <laughs> well, you see, when you egg someone, you're supposed to use raw eggs, not omelets, you morons. Raw eggs? What a laugh. <laughs> Squaresville, man. Strictly Squaresville. So long, daddy <laughs> Ah, who needs? I can't believe they did that. Even they should know that was wrong. Hey, old man Nelson, didn't like the omelets, huh? Then try this! <laughs> oh. Hey, guys, get back here. Oh, what now, Father Time? <laughs> well, you see, your hollandaise is way too lemony. Oh, too bad. Oh, oh no, we got movie signs! <laughs> <laughs> Real funny. <laughs> Real funny. Hiya, kid. What was about you? Therefore, I petition the court that my father be committed and... Well, I'm gonna catch that Abbott and Costello. We've got another deal going. How much is involved? A million dollars. Cash. Oh, where's the million dollar file? Shipping clerk wore khakis. Are you decent? <laughs> yes, yeah. excuse me, Miss Massey. You want to sign these papers? Later, kid. I'm real busy. Uh, they sort of built up. Uh, <laughs> Handled some big deals before, Walt. But never a million dollars. Box of bowling balls coming through. Sorry, sorry kid. This much heroin before. What's our cut? Twenty-five percent. Good enough. You getting this out there, Marvin? Boats do in Saturday night. Money will arrive here sometime Saturday night. 
Who's bringing it in? Never mind. It's coming. You can rest assured. Now, I'll put it in my safe. And at exactly 11.15, I'll be back with the guy carrying the dope. I'll give him the money, and they'll make the exchange. Isn't it a little risky leaving a million dollars in the safe that long? Nobody will know it's there. I do. And I'd rather have it here than carry it around. Can you follow me? Sure. Now, all you have to do is open the doors for us at 11.15. And then stand by to make sure that there's no double cross. Okay. Well, that's it. Oh, the big heroin shipment is a coming down the street. Of... <laughs> Dollars. That's 75 bucks a week for life. I'll see you, Biff. Take it easy. Good luck with the heroin. Kids. Kids. Yes, sir. Let me have a look at those papers. Uh, here when I come. Oh. Do they all have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> I'm very disappointed in you, Mom. It's been two weeks, and you haven't slipped her the tongue yet. I don't understand, Mr. Carter. I think you do. Okay, you're excused. Well, we might as well get this over with as quickly as possible. I'm not Robert Q. Lewis. He wrote your paper, didn't he? Of course not. I wrote it myself. Oh, come now, Betty. You have many attributes, I will confess. Oh, but a comprehensive understanding of Shakespeare and his works is not one of them. I studied. I worked real hard. Mm -hmm. James at 16. Well, Ma, you want to tell me the truth? Well, sir, everyone thinks you smell like old hamburger. Uh, oh. She wrote it on it, Mr. Carter. Am I a sweat hog now, Mr. Carter? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we are asked right, to Betty. believe... What is it all about? Oh, um, well, there's this plot and people and a lot of betwixt other stuff and pursue things. Oh. It's about Shakespeare and his plays. She did write the paper. You didn't even read it, did you? Of course I read it. I wrote it. Now, look. Neither one of you is fooling anybody but yourselves. Hmm? Now, come on, Marv. Admit it and get it over with. She's guilty of thought crimes. Come on! Put the rat mask on her. <laughs> yes, sir. That's better. <laughs> Abe, your witness. He couldn't prove it. I hope you understand that I'll have to fail you for this, Betty. As far as you're concerned, Marv, your grades are too good. I can't possibly fail you. I'm out of those little slips. I can't even blame you. <laughs> right down with the phone. But I am going to withdraw my recommendation for the scholarship. Huh? I thought that you were different, Marv. But I guess I was wrong. You don't deserve that scholarship, and you know it. You are just bitter because you can't do anything but earn 60 bucks a week with your fancy words and big brains. You have no right to punk me. Don't stand so close to me. That's all you're worried about. You don't even care that Marv may lose his opportunity to go to college because of you. You temptress parading around in that revealing sweater. Sorceress. All right. That's all. You're both excused. But, Betty, Marv is more excused than you. Betty! Betty! Look, stay away from me, you think. Betty! Look, you didn't have to tell him. But he Betty! Didn't he didn't know. He couldn't prove Betty. it. Betty! I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Well, be sorry somewhere else and just leave me alone, huh? Do you know where the office is? You mean it's over just because of this? Betty! Over? Now, what's there to be over? Uh, Betty! Well, I thought you said it. Look, I didn't say anything. Uh, Betty? You did all the talking, remember? Uh, uh, Betty. What kind of fool am I? Oh, wow, you're just using me. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. That's right. So you want me to sign your yearbook? Look, all I know is now I'm... Lola Falana. My father's going to kill me. He really will, and I'm not going to graduate. Because and... I'll be dead because he killed me. I guess things just don't want to work out for me. Betty? Can I still call you Betty? Betty? Betty, you said that you wanted to come back and throw diamonds and minks in his face. So? Are they live minks? So if I could get those things for you. Oh, sorry. I would have brought worse for Pete on me. You know what you feel? I mean, about the whole world? Thanks, Mara, but it won't help. I mean it, Betty. Could it make a difference? 
Well, bring him around first chance he gets. Might make a difference at that. I've had my answer. I'm walking on air. I'll put it in the safe. Isn't it a little risky leaving a million dollars in the safe that long? Where, oh, where could a guy find a bell tower? Mm-hmm. Please, there's Dad to cheer me up. Dad, I've told you not on the rug. Oh, Dad's turned into Gregor Samsa. Suspense, I can't wait. It's going to be so cool when they reveal it. I just can't... Oh. Dad's new girlfriend is named Smirnoff. Hmm. Why no one can spend three bucks the way Dad does. <laughs> this is so beautiful. <laughs> Boy, it's like a Norman Rockwell painting. <laughs> you didn't leave any for me, you jerk. Right. Well, it's empty, isn't it? Don't lecture me again. No, You're I'm grounded. You. Might as well have Mitchell for a dad. Well, happy Easter anyway. The Big Brother program doesn't work for everybody. What happened, Pop? I opened the bottle and drank some. She turned me down. Why? I ain't good enough for her. Ain't got enough dough. Oh, it's fur. They're all alike. Only thing they want is money. My body isn't enough. <laughs> what would you Nobody at home do? There. You have pimples. There. Execute them. Nobody <laughs> there. Are those voices in your head or mine? I'll be right back. Where are you going? You're going to see that girl again. No, I'm not going to see that girl again. She's just like all the rest. You'll see. Lay down, Pa. I'll be right back. Just stay there and hallucinate. No, oh, not on our one piece of furniture. Yeah. Marv. No. Don't go. You're my son. You're all I got left in the world. Besides my lucky table. No. You know, the thing is, he isn't even close to hitting bottom. Mm-hmm. Come on, Bob. Now help you on this sofa. Come on. Let's change that diaper. Dad, come on. We've got our Weebelos meeting. Be right back, Pop. When I get back, maybe we can show them all the things, too. Pop? 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 Oh, my God. Come on, Pop. Live. Damn it, live. Hand me the remote, son. This holiday season, remember, most ordinary credit cards charge interest from the moment you buy something, if you carry a balance as little as a dollar. So buy your presents with the new Optima True Grace card from American Express and get an interest-free grace period on each new purchase, even when you carry a balance. It's a jolly good thing. And keep recycling those old credit cards. I'm decorating my tree. Apply today. Call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. It's rough being a grandpa during gift-giving season. (laughs) I got eight grandkids. Last I counted. But this year I'm going to Burger King for these wonderful Disney glasses. There's that nice boy Aladdin. Beauty and the Beast. Magical Disney classics. The glasses are just 89 cents at Burger King with any Whopper value meal. So the kids get their favorite Disney glasses and I eat every Whopper. It is better to give than to receive. Burger King, get your burgers worth. Who could see through these little cameras? You find it. Who would rather have a much It's the owl. You're sure to get your shot with the sure shot owl. Try to remember the name. <laughs> From who else? But cannon. It's common knowledge that the simple act of petting a dog can make people healthier and happier. It's even been suggested that people who own dogs lead longer, fuller lives. Now, knowing what dogs do for you, wouldn't it be nice to do the same for them? You can, by feeding your dog items every day. It's more nutritious because its quality ingredients are more digestible. Iams Dog Food, good for life. From the Iams Company. Daddy! How simple can you get? Daddy! 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 Dadd
That ought to do it. Ready, set, go. Nine buttons make it easy for kids to program. 64 commands make it all kinds of fun. Oops. Ready, set, go from Buddy L. You know, on Politically Incorrect, we try to consider everybody's opinion. Hey, Bill, Prozac for dogs, why not? Let them have some relief. Bill, what about the communist conspiracy to contaminate our precious emissions? Isn't it time you looked into that? Yes. Yeah, it is. What about federal funding for sex addicts like me? Shouldn't that be considered? You know, it should. I've been doing some research on that myself. It's Watch the new season of Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. Weeknights at 10, here at Comedy Central. So Einstein, he's working, he's working, he's working, and I sneaks up behind him and go, boom! And his hair goes, pow! Next thing you know, the guy looks like Don King. <laughs> yeah, I did that. <laughs> oh, oh, Catch Mark Marin and Don Marrero on a special tailgate party edition of Short Attention Span Theater. Tonight at 9, here at Comedy Center. Oh, Dom, I was wide open. Oh, Mark, I'm sorry, I didn't even know you were playing. Meanwhile, Betty earns some extra credit after school. Van Clyburn entertains a groupie. <laughs> Boy, the guys could see me now. We can! They just be jealous, that's all. Oh, I don't know what... My hands are stuck to your head. Uh, well, you know, I'm supposed to be so hard and tough and all. Tell me you love me. You love me. <laughs> oh, I love you. Again. I can't hear you, worm! I love you, baby. I love you. When are we gonna prove it? Oh, should I give you a deposition? Prove it? You mean you don't believe me? Oh, I believe it. But a girl likes to see something real, you know. Something in a mutual fund. What do you mean, like a car or jewels or something? Oh, or something. Like a super soaker in a nudie suit? You'll have it all someday, baby. I swear it, you'll have it all. When? Soon. How's Thursday? When I get out of school and have a chance to look around. I'm inventing the desktop computer. Now, what if someone comes along who already has it? Um, stuff and stuff. Kill him and take it away. That is correct. Let's move on to the lightning round. Tell me again. Oh, I forgot what I said. There's that Vince magic. Ah, he's gonna bowl his troubles away. The mean streets of Appleton. Hey, I'm fake walking here. <laughs> ah, he's surveying his liquor kingdom. <laughs> it's G go. <laughs> I think the point of purchase displays have gotten a little out of hand. Where's the bread display? Here's one of the great ones, Classic Routine. <laughs> it's the all-impulse item store. It's nutty! <laughs> Tonight on Lou Jacoby Playhouse. <laughs> Ooh, that's good boo! And now back to our show. Thank you, my register. Samuel, please, my most valuable possessions. Sure, for stealing my cigar. Drinking my wine and dipping into my cash register. Samuel, I'm shocked. Your own flesh and blood. Mostly flesh. My what? Just because I married to your sister doesn't give you cause to come in and nail my inventory. Well, she's your wife, isn't she? Yeah, but then she's my sister. Sure. Then you admit it, but yours is mine. I like this new movie well, better. I don't want to be a nag. Why don't you go get a job? A job? Would you have a doctor take up a pick? A chemist sit behind the wheel of a truck? If he was making a bum out of me, I would. Samuel, I'm a professional man. There's no other way. Now, you were in the rackets, you ought to know that. Yeah, but I gave it up ten years ago. I hope that's the scene police calling. Sam? Hello? Yeah. Yeah, dear. Potatoes? Potatoes? Tomatoes? Brand. Tomatoes? Yeah, I'll pick it up. No, I won't forget. Yeah, goodbye, dear. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, jerky boys. Your sister... No way. Samuel, you are the last of the great gentlemen. Have a cigar. Billy Edmonds and Curly isn't that good. Real nice art direction. Mm. You can't art direct those stains on the wall. Beat it, Bronk. You ain't old enough. I'm not here to buy liquor. Sorry, we're fresh out of cokes. Are you Sam Tolman? 
Yes, so... I need a bottle adapter for my lips. I understand you're a friend of Harry March. <laughs> Harry March? Harry March. Am I in the right movie? <laughs> the best safe cracker around. I do the best in the business. Never heard of him. Okay. I thought you might be interested in a deal. Wait a minute, kid. Is that your real what face? kind of a deal? What difference does it make? You said you didn't know him. I make friends real easy. What kind of a deal? I haven't figured that part out yet. A big deal. Oh, I'm in. A million dollars cash. A million dollars cash. Kid, I'm busy. Why don't you go tell your fairy tale someplace else? I mean it, a million cash. And so where is it? Maybe it's in the Mint or maybe it's in Fort Knox. It's about six blocks from here. You're lying. Look, I know where the money is and I know how to get it. All I need is someone that can open a safe. So you ain't lying. How does a punk like you know where a million dollars is? I, sir, am a shipping clerk. Mr. Coleman, all my life, my brains have been sort of a curse. Kind of like Dick Cavett. Hmm. Now, maybe I can make a pay off for everybody. Hmm. Chin needs a quick cleaning. Let's say that you know where a million is, and let's say you have a plan how to get it. Where do I come in? And Harry? Well, we'll need a pony keg. Can you just tell Harry to be here tomorrow night at 8 o'clock? I'll explain it then. Okay, kid, I'll have him here, but if you're lying. Oh, how droll. I've already had one beating today. I don't suppose another one would kill me. Oh, I know you. You're that Shakespeare queen that Betty dumped. <laughs> Man, this chin is filthy. Well, where's your young genius? He said 8 o'clock. Only a few minutes after. I'm surprised at you, Samuel. This is obviously somebody's idea of a joke. Look, that's what I thought at first, but I could swear he was on the level after talking to him a while. Mm -hmm. If there were a million dollars hanging about someplace, every operator in the country would know about it. Maybe so, but... Stay in there, Mom. Him now. Patty Chayefsky's House of Games. Mmm, good reefer, man. Here he is, Harry. Travis Bickle. <laughs> Mark Grant. I'm kind of clammy, so be careful. Very much. Well, I better get back to social studies. Glad to meet you, Mr. March. I've heard quite a bit about you. All good, I might add. Depending on which side of the law you hold with. Thank you. Gentlemen, let's not be so polite. I can't keep the store closed forever. i got to make a living. Okay, sit down. I'll explain it to you. We uh, find out where they store the band candy, and we steal it. <laughs> now, tomorrow night, there's a freighter docking at the pier. The Rose Lee out of Hong Kong. So? Oh, uh, you're right. I don't know. There's a shipment of pure heroin being smuggled in on that ship for delivery here. Wait a minute. <laughs> I refuse to have anything to do with narcotics. Besides, it's a federal rep. Yeah, besides, you said it was cash. I'm getting to that. Now, the syndicate here has agreed to take the heroin off the hands of the present owners for a million dollars cash, mm -hmm. relieving them of the risks and headaches of distributing and selling the stuff. So we grab the million before it gets to the guys with the junk. Exactly. One million dollars in untraceable, unmarked, Pennies. probably highly ill-gotten cash. Very well. So far, so good. Now, what about our cut? The sad, the meat. Fifty-five, forty-five. If man is still alive... Take it or leave it. He'll take it. Now, what's the setup? Walter Matthews is the middleman. He's the guy that owns the warehouse on the dock, huh? Right. A million dollars will be in his safe sometime tomorrow. At 11.15, Matthews and the dope owner arrive to exchange the heroin for the cash. Except by then, we'll have the cash. You're at Comedy Central. Hey, you're Jimmy Johnson. Yes, huh? You won the last two Super Bowls. How you getting into this year's big game and all the parties? I don't know, uh, crash and preloads? Stay tuned to Comedy Central for details. Blindfolded Dan is trying to guess what car we got here, which for you folks watching at home is the uh, Eagle Town. This is dual airbags, Caesar leather trim seats. I feel a CD player, 300ZX. Oh, keep trying, Dan. Dan is trying to identify this new sports coupe. Toyota Supra. From Chrysler's newest brand. Forget Supra. I feel a Lexus SC 300. It's Thank Eagle you. Talon, Dan. Right. Okay, just give me a little hint. Can you tell me the color? You know what I hate, man? 
when you go to see the big gold Buddha and you pick the leaf with the virus on it. Soon the world will be divided into two groups. Infected to pray. What? Those who've experienced Burn Cycle, the ultimate cinematic adventure game. Must be one hell of a virus. And those who think the first group is just strange. Burn Cycle, it's not just a game, it's an infection. Only on CDI. Now get Burn Cycle free when you get into CDI. We remember our lives in pictures. But the parts in between those pictures, long stretches of life, we too easily forget. Presenting the Nikon Light Touch Zoom, the world's smallest 35mm autofocus zoom, you will take more pictures, you will remember more, and perfectly. Nikon, we take the world's greatest pictures, yours. It's only a movie, except on a Sony big screen TV. Oh, good. Something romantic. Having a cat can do wonders for a person's health and happiness. It can lower blood pressure, reduce stress, helping us lead longer, fuller lives. Well, now you can return the favor by feeding your cat items every day. Cats love its taste, and it's more nutritious because its quality ingredients are more digestible. Iams Cat Food, good for life. From the Iams Company. Hi, this is Marv. Is your million dollars in yet? Hello? Hello, Betty, this is Marv. Please don't hang up. I've got to talk to you. No, thanks. I thought I made myself pretty clear. Please, Betty, this is important. I think I made a mistake in that paper I wrote. Not on the phone. Can you meet me somewhere? When what freezes over? Money, Betty. Sweet buttery Bought money. Money to buy everything you've ever wanted. Hello? Whose turn is it to talk? Are you there, Betty? Look, is this a gag? I hope to die if it is. I hope to die anyway. Where do you want me to be? Joe's Diner, 7th and Adams. I just planned my heist and my date for the same night. Hmm. Hard rock cafes just don't work everywhere. <laughs> Edward Hopper's Night Dorks. Is there a Marv here? Uh oh. Stick with me, baby, and we'll go to places like this every night. Meatloaf. Would you like some coffee? I can afford it. No, just get to the point. That was my point, actually. I'm going to get some money, Betty. Oh, really? How much? Lots. A verdillion, kajillion dollars. Enough to buy you all the diamonds and mink coats in the whole world. If they cost less than three dollars. Boss make you president of the company or something? No. But I'm getting it, I swear it. Well, did you get me all the way down here just to talk? He's going to stare at you, too. Where are you getting this fortune? Can anyone here be tempted with a little dessert? <laughs> this guy gives awkward adolescents a bad name. Yeah, I managed to get us a table. <laughs> Would you just say something? I'm stealing it. I think. So what? Uh, I'm not stealing it. Oh, look, cut it out, will you? You haven't even got the nerve to lie. I mean it, Betty. I'm stealing a million dollars. I'm stealing it a dollar at a time from a million places. Look, you shouldn't joke about these things, Mark. I'm not joking. I found out where there's going to be a million dollars cash, and I've worked out a plan to steal it. And then we're taking a chariot to Mars. You're really serious, aren't you? I just put my arm in pie. You'd really do that for me? Yes, I'm that screwed up. <laughs> Your chair is on my foot. I'm in love with you. When you're with love with a beautiful oh, woman. I know I can. I've got the best safe crack in the business lined up to do it with me. When? Saturday night at the warehouse. We'll have to split with the other guys, but there'll be over half a million for us. But unfortunately, I've hired 500,000 guys to help. 
I could have everything I've ever dreamed of. A pony, an ironing board, and some stirrup pan. I could finally spit in his face. First, I'll eat a bag of Oreos and a Snickers bar. You're crazy. Iago was clearly representational of the devil, for at one time a fellow looked for his cloven hooves. You're out of your mind. Am I? Listen, mister, I'm giving you a break you haven't got coming. A break? Asking me to heist a million bucks from guys who'll be armed to the teeth? So who says you can't carry a gun yourself? My dad. I never have. Look, I've got radios, hubcaps, stuff like that, but I'm no mopperer. I'm a small-time loser. So what are you? I am muscular dystrophy. You're always one step ahead of me. Hey, look, honey, it'll be a cinch. All you have to do is grab them when they come out with the money. What? Look, you can get Larry and Bert to help you. You don't have to tell them how much it is. Larry Bird's going to help them? Hmm? Look, aren't I worth it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, let me clue you, Buster. I'm getting out of this dump one way or the other. Why do they meet at the dump? Now, if you want me to go with Marv, that's okay. But I'm giving you the chance to take me. Oh, oh, oh God. I have to take a cold shower. Quit following me. This movie is low on linguistic synapses. You wouldn't go with him. No, not really. Wouldn't I? For half a million bucks, I'd go with anyone. Tom Arnold, Holly Selassie, Soupy Sales, Edie Amin, Abe Vigoda. You didn't love him? Now, what's love got to do with it? What's love but a second-hand emotion? Yeah. I don't know. You want some gum? It's always hard when I have to think and stuff. Look, Ben. I want you. I really do. Baby, I'm a want you. <laughs> I've wanted you for years, and you know it. But you weren't home. But I want something else, too. Maintenance-free vinyl siding. Maybe more than I want you, even. And if I can have them both, that's great. But if I have to choose... Why, this movie is filled to the brim with chin. <laughs> Vincent, suave overdrive. Oh, wow, it's all soft and stuff when we kiss. Were you doing? I thought I was. Okay, Vince, do it. <laughs> I get it, sex metaphor. <laughs> Is he a shipping clerk? Package here for Mr. Matthews. Okay, I'll see you. Are you a real lonely guy? Oh, yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, me too. Yep, yep. Okay, buddy, thanks. Oh, finally, his cheese and sausage gift pack from Hipkery Farms has arrived. <laughs> I don't have your money. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, it is. Bring it in here, huh? Boss is always in a good mood when the heroine arrives. <laughs> it's a Ma Kettle blow-up doll. <laughs> <laughs> I thought these back issues of Video Watchdog would never come. <laughs> so Mr. Peepers is a heroin dealer? Mm-hmm. 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 Cow can is better. Hi, son. How'd the robbery go? Club beans. All we got in the house, you want to buy? No, you finish it. And don't tempt me. Uh-huh. Well, don't you have some homework? Up at Saturday night. Remember, school finished Friday. Look, sorry, yeah. Uh, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Are we still on for my sponge bath, son? You got a date? Yeah, sort of. Marv, hmm? you get your check? Pop, I don't get paid until the 15th. You know that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh just that Mrs. Fisher's coming up for the rent tonight, and I was wondering if I could pay her in cash instead of sex. You blew your job, didn't you? <clears throat> oh, just got a big hunk of pork. Well, what happened, Pop? Well, he reconsidered. Said he guessed it was too old. Mm. I don't know what to do, boy. Everywhere I turn, same thing happens. I get drunk, vomit, pass out, and don't get hired. Dad, I don't want to be around when the beans kick in. Pop, everything's going to be all right. It ain't fair to you, kid. No, it's true. I'm a burden. If I weren't around, you could do anything you want. Live your life the way you want. Go to college. Look, Pop, 
I don't want you talking like that anymore, you understand? I mean, you're right, but... Can you borrow me some bead money? I want you to know one thing. I'm your mother. No matter what happens, I want you to know I tried to be a good father to you. Really, I tried. Do you have any specific examples? You're the best father a kid ever had. <laughs> Maybe I don't iron your shirts too good, but... Huh? Yeah? You're standing on my foot. Everything's going to be all right, Bob. Sure, sure. You okay? Sure. No more booze? Oh, no. <laughs> now, look, get going. You'll be late. Have a good time tonight, kid. Stay out of trouble, huh? Sure, Bob. Who is he? I know I should know him. Remember what I said, Pop? Everything's going to be all right. Sure, I'll remember. <laughs> Everything is going to be... Oh, every bean is beans. Come here, you little rascals. <laughs> Come on, I'm alone. Jeez, what do you want? <laughs> oh. I'll remember. Rendezvous with targets. Crow. Ah, it is I, T. Hewitt Edward Crow. Stealthily, like a cat. Oh, oh fine. Sorry. Cat. Oh. We have to get past this lock if we want to read Gypsy's diary. Ah, the simplest of tasks for T. Hewitt Edward Crow. Turn the dial left 22. Right. Crow, it's a key lock. Hmm? We just oh. use the dynamite, please. <laughs> I agree. Like a cat. Dynamite. Right. Fire in the hole. <laughs> Look at that. Still locked. Any ideas, T. Hewitt? Uh, more dynamite. Right, more yes. dynamite. The answer is clear. Delicate application of TNT, precisely calibrated. Right. Fire in the hole. <laughs> oh, wow. It's still locked. You want to give it another go? Ah, uh, sure. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, these Happy Hearts diaries are really well made. Fire in the hole. <laughs> this is really frustrating. How incredible a value is the all-new Eagle Town? This is exciting. Certified government accountant Warren Kruger is here to help us find out. Take her for a spin. I'm off. He's off. Warren, the wonder accountant, is back. Warren, what do you think? Sounds great. 140 horsepower engine, dual airbags, double wishbone suspension. Or the U.S. government pay for something like this. 14 million tops. Shouldn't that decimal point be over there? Thanks. I'm always doing that. Listen, this stuff that we make, it's powerful. It makes you powerful. Take it. Gather up your ideas. Listen. This stuff run with it. Listen, it's power. This stuff that can make it's powerful. This stuff that make trouble and good things. Gather up your ideas. Make some mistakes. Just do something amazing. It makes you powerful. This stuff that we make. Take it. Gather up your ideas. Do something amazing. Gather up your ideas. We're in your corner. Listen. We can't wait to see what you're going to do. Listen. 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 You know, on Politically Incorrect, we try to consider everybody's opinion. Hey, Phil, Prozac for dogs, why not? Let them have some relief. Phil, what about the communist conspiracy to contaminate our precious emissions? Isn't it time you looked into that? Yes. Yeah, it is. What about federal funding for sex addicts like me? Shouldn't that be considered? You know, it should. I've been doing some research on that myself. It's Watch the new season of Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. Weeknights at 10 here at Comedy Central. All right, go along. Mark and Dog. They make Aikman and Irvin look like a couple of AMA uh, uh, professionals. Catch them on a special football blooper edition of short attention span theater. Tonight at 9 here at Comedy Central. End of lesson one.
Well, as for my future plans, well, you know, right now I'm studying for the LSATs. I'm taking that Kaplan class. I mean, I've been sucking the life out of people for centuries. Why not get paid for it? <laughs> That's five in a row. Are you cheating? Honor, Sam. Remember, honor. Oh, yeah, sure. I wish this movie had these two guys in it. About six, pal. Peanuts. It's a low-key, laid-back heist. Mm -hmm. But don't add it, whatever you do. Mm hmm well. Hello, new dads. Hello, son. I hear you. Looks like you got yourself old maid. Who's Winnie? He's killing me. Could you fetch these cars? I told you repeatedly, Samuel, I am a thief, not a crook. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the same? Mm -hmm. As deal, Nicky Arnstein. Go to seven. Go on. Oh, Rhea Perlman. <laughs> Never seen Marv happier. Jim. Wait, we've been playing poker. <laughs> the most affable thugs ever. Figure it up. Lavoris, anyone? Well, do you fellas have any plans what you're going to do with your share of the money, eh? Marv's yeah. going to buy a fresh dad. A sister of yours that has some good things coming for a long time. You know, I think anybody that sticks with me all these years has got to get a break. You're not so bad, Sam. How about you, Marvin? Me? I'm going to blow it all on video games. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get married. Go to school. College? Mm-hmm. You know, I've always had a lust for education myself. I wonder if they'd let me in somewhere. If, that is, if I had enough money. Sure, you could teach the kids the route to Professor's death and steal the exam. <laughs> You're snide, Sam, but you are my flesh and blood. In law. Little heart. That's some time to kill. Okay, but let's keep the stakes low. I don't trust him, and you're too smart. High card deals. Da -dum, da -dum, da -da, da -dum, da -da. Meanwhile, in the same room across town. And a shock. <laughs> Anything pops laying on it. I'm pregnant. We're gonna get ourselves fifty thousand bucks tonight. What are you smoking? I'm serious. Opium, but I'm serious. Dead serious. We can get it. You guys got the guts. That kind of dough I got guts I ain't even used yet. What's the scam? We take your guts and harvest your organs. Okay, now you guys hear me? And hear me good. If they were a lot smarter, they could be the Bowery Boys. I ain't gonna believe half of this. None of it, maybe. But it's all true. Now, there's gonna be a safe robbery tonight. Not more than three blocks from here. Now, I know who's pulling it, and I know what we gotta do. Then <laughs> 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 to come out with the loot. And then we grab it. It's so easy, it scares me. Who? Who's doing it? Who told you? <laughs> yes. Marv Grant. Oh, come on, Vince. Quit putting this on. I'm telling you. Okay, it was Marv Albert. <laughs> you mean all we gotta do is walk up and take it? That's right. No, no way. It's too complicated. Who with these? Ah, he's the vasectomy kid. <laughs> Why can't I attract real dames like I attract this lousy queen of spades? Because they don't want to be torn in half. It's almost quarter off. Let's get going, huh? No. I don't want to leave until exactly 10.45. Why can't we leave now? Why do you have to cut us so fine? Look, I've timed the ride a dozen times. It takes exactly 11 minutes to get from here to the warehouse. Come on, who's the high school junior around here? <laughs> Besides, I don't want to arrive at the ferry boat until exactly 10.52. Hey, the very Very well. Hey, here's my impersonation of your dad. <laughs> you guys want to hear about my fruit fly experiment? Well, actually, they're called the Sophila Melangogaster. <laughs> I hate him. The anal gang. One more game, or... Okay, let's go. Barney, bring the van around. 
Did everyone make a potty? Good luck. So, who's got the car? Yeah, it takes 11 minutes if you go 600 miles an hour. Well, at least the traffic is with them. Almost there yet? Where are we going to be there? I'm hungry. Mark called everyone in town and asked them to stay home. Got a test tomorrow. What am I doing? It's almost 10.51. We're missing Leno. Relax, we'll make it. So, uh, when does the suspense part begin? So are your dad's bean-eating alcoholics, too? Marvin should really be in his car seat. <clears throat> oh, no, I've seen this random car directing. What is it? Looks like an accident. What do we do? This is the only direct street to the ferry. We'll have to detour. Hurry up. Boy, he is smart. That hurry-up part was pure genius. Bad. Oh, sure. Let's just sit around the table and not leave early. Good one, Mark. We're dead. It's really important that whatever you do, don't be the ferryman. Oh, Could you okay. do something about that? Okay. There's another ferry in two minutes. Don't even fix a price. Do it, wait. And pray. Yeah, I'm sure what with wars and famine, God is really interested in your heist. Until he gets you to the other side. Okay, that's it. That's it. Bye bye. Woo hoo! Yay! What time is it? 10 58. We'll never make it. A little harsh, but it had to be done. Come on. Hey, the other side looks exactly like the other side. So does this heist count towards his outcome-based education? Yes. Kill your life. Yeah, they don't need him now that it's the middle of the afternoon. Car and Driver magazine says that the 1995 Eagle Talon TSI all-wheel drive offers the most performance and technology for the dollar. So we wondered, what does Renegade Biker think? We're here with the editor, Porkchop, Pork Chop, here at the Chrysler Test Track to give it a spin. So your thoughts? The scrub ratio is very impressive. All in all, the styling and finesse transcends the normal expectations of a sports car enthusiast. Quite an endorsement, Pork Chop. You know what I hate, man? When you go to see the big gold Buddha, and you pick the leave with the virus on it. Soon the world will be divided into two groups. Infected to Bray. What? Those who've experienced Burn Cycle, the ultimate cinematic adventure game. Must be one hell of a virus. And those who think the first group is just strange. Burn Cycle, it's not just a game, it's an infection. Only on CDI. Now get Burn Cycle free when you get into CDI. Here's a chip that's got more ridginess. New Pringles Ridges, it's more crunch. Yes. If crunch is what mm -hmm. you can't resist, Pop Pringles Ridge is more crunch than this. Crunch. Yes. Golden tasty crunchiness, not this bad chip's greasy mess. Pop the Pringles Ridges, it's more crunch. Yes. More crunch. Once you pop Ridges, you can't stop. I've just discovered something quite shocking. Most ordinary credit cards charge interest from the moment you buy something, if you carry a balance as little as a dollar. Thankfully, American Express has introduced a new credit card called the Optima True Grace Card. It has a low interest rate if you choose to extend payment, no annual fee if you use it three times a year, and you get an interest-free grace period on each new purchase, even when you carry a balance. It's a good thing. But don't just throw away your old credit cards. Recycle them. I'm retiling my swimming pool. Apply today. Call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. The sooner you apply for the new Optima True Grace credit card from American Express, the sooner you'll cut your interest charges. It's a good thing. 
and keep recycling those old credit cards. Apply today. Call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. Oh, so Catch Mark Marin and Don Marrera on a special tailgate party edition of Short Attention Span Theater. Next, here at Comedy Central. Dom, I was wide open. Oh, Mark, I'm sorry. I didn't even know you were playing. I hope they didn't miss the film's climax. I brought my baritone sax. It's 11.04. May have missed them. Again, maybe we didn't. Come on. Oh, it's a sleepover caper. <laughs> What's with the Tom and Jerry music? We're never late, especially tonight. What do we do now? Oh, no. What do you want to do? Act. Stupid act. Listen. I'm late for the village people auditions. Biff Johnson, security guard. Hmm? Sorry, I'm late, Chief. There was an accident. That front. He's hitting him with a hot dog. <laughs> he hates you, Conrad. Let's pose him so that they're kissing. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, Marv was about to get a million-dollar raise. That should be pretty impressed if you knew the shipping clerk here. Well, I'm him. <laughs> Damn, we need a locksmith. Broke off. Oh, it's still on the lock. Come on, it's seven after. We haven't got much time. This might do it. It wasn't even locked. Sure increased the tension, though, huh? Uh, guys, uh, we shouldn't be in here. The sign said private. A safe? I thought you said the money was in a toaster. All right, luck. This one's easy. 11.08. Me, Mary. Are you there? I'm wearing my apron and nothing else. You're not eating beans in there, are you? It's Mrs. Fisher. I brought my assortment of nuts. God, he's a puppeteer! Horrible, how horrible. Many horses far away. Ooh. Well, Vince has assembled his brain trust. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Go home! Go home! I have determined it's a safe. Hearken the account a lot. What were you thinking? Jeez. Now turn your head and cough. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm coming down with something. Should I have not called the cops? Should I tell them or not? <laughs> Got it. Look at her. A million bucks. It's beautiful. Well, we have much time. All Wisconsin Dells wampum bucks. Let's do it. Take it easier. I won't have room for my sweater. <laughs> Glad you can make the heist, Mr. Disney. Oh, shut up. Come on. I want to show you my desk before you leave. Come on, Harry! Did I tell you we have honor system candy here? Remember when I told you about that guy who doesn't pay for coffee? Well, that's his desk over there. <laughs> Fortunately, Marv will get caught when he turns in his time card with these hours on it. Oops. Damn. All of this because of a strict English teacher. <laughs> okay, that's far enough. Well, hi, Vince. Vince. Give me that cake. Hurry it up. Vince, look, the cops will be here any minute. You can have some. Shut up and give me that money. All right, your paper, Vince. I missed Marv. Hey, Vivian, you didn't have to do that. Come on, let's go, Larry. Here goes the town's only liquor store. 
Last of the great gentlemen. That's who we should have gotten for the heist. Ten seconds into Vince's plan, and it all he goes wrong. Have a gun. Vince! And I hail! Vince, come on! Don't just stand there! You, you, you made me kill him! Come her. on! Come on! Vince! This is cashmere! No, Vince! The Pepperidge Farm remembers! I think this is about more than the height. Oh, wow! Oh, <laughs> there they are! Hey, Barishnikov! <laughs> <laughs> Liquid asset. <laughs> Juicy. Get the money. Let's get out of here. I am loaded down with snow. Ah, Ricky. Don't move. So you have the right to remain silent. Ah. Right there. Anything you can say can and will be used against you. Well, no need to launder the money then. <laughs> Why? I got punched right in the store. Forgive me. <laughs> I could really go for a pop. Reverse angle cops. Oh, how'd the heist go? What? God, geez, what a mess. I just came from a scene where some unemployed bean eater was swinging from the ceiling. Should we just leave the dead guys there? Yeah, the crows will get them. Crows. <laughs> this is the PTA reminding you to always do your homework. You know, in light of this, cheating on the paper wasn't that big a deal. Coming up next on Nick and Knight, one of the original black and white I Dream of Genie episodes. <laughs> that had to next on Nick at Night. Filmed before a live audience. This has been a film waves presentation, darling. <laughs> Boy, that was a rugged movie, huh, guys? Guys? Oh, well. Uh, I got a letter to read here. It's from Donna Brinketter. And put it on Still Store, Cambot, if you would. Uh, she writes, Dear Mike, Tom, Crow, and Gypsy, we've been watching your show for some time and enjoy it very much, but I'm afraid my husband may be headed for trouble. Keith is a good, kind, decent man, but I think the desert has started to melt his... Ah, ah, all right. Hand over the letter, Mike. Don't move. Give me the letter. Drop it. No. Drop no. it. No. Drop no. it. No. No. Ah. No. <laughs> oh. Must continue to read. Letter and Landers told me to. Sandwiches, anyone? Hmm? You made me do this. Oh. You, woman, oh. you. Ah. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry. Uh, all right. Don't move. I don't think you want to be doing that. Just <laughs> drop the gun and nobody gets wet. Oh, oh my God, I'm, I'm wet. <laughs> you shot my boyfriend, you dirty buzz! I ain't dead yet, copper! <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, very nice. Natural born squirters. At least you don't have a thing trying to. Oh. Oh. There. Here, boy, where are you? Here, boy. Here, boy. Where, where are you? Here. Hey, Clay, have you seen my dinosaur anywhere? Oh, Frank, could uh, this be your dinosaur? Oh, yeah, <laughs> thanks a lot. That's it. Oh, 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 oh that hurt. Oh, 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 skin there. Oh, ow, 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 Oh, 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 I must have been that stings. Oh, oh, oh. Ouchie, ouchie, Bumby. Oh, oh. 
哟！哇！哈哈哈哈哈！我的天哪！好吵！哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！这You are a master of mirth. Just the sound of your voice invites laughter. You have a positive genius for not taking anything too seriously, including yourself. Time Bank from Sprint awards you one minute of free time for every five you spend on the phone. Getting paid for making people laugh. What a concept! Sign up now for 60 minutes free. Listen, this stuff that we make—it's powerful. It makes you powerful. This stuff that we make—it's powerful. Take it. Listen. Gather up your ideas. Run with them. It makes you powerful. Just do something amazing. We're in your corner, and we can't wait to see what you're going to do. This stuff that we make. Listen. 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 The client everybody's after wants to meet us for dinner. Can you be ready in ten minutes? Think fast. Think the compact Norelco Speed Razor. Why show up at a 7 p.m. meeting with a 7 a.m. shave? The Norelco Speed Razor, close and comfortable to go. You're too old to sit in a bearded man's lap, whispering your secret desires in his ear. So grow up and enter Comedy Central's Santa Never Comes Through for Me sweepstakes. Finally, a shred of hope to get what you want. Look at what you can win: a groovy CDI player from Magnavox, a bold leather jacket from Wilson's, the leather experts, a Timex watch. Because it wouldn't be a sweepstakes without a watch. A trip to Jamaica? Sure, you'll stay at the Jamaica Grand and fly on Air Jamaica. And that's not all. Some of you may win. A new line cinema, dumb and dumber hat. Yippee! Don't let Santa burn you again. Just send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to Santa. Never comes through for me. Sweepstakes. Comedy Central, 1775 Broadway, 10th floor, New York City, New York State, 10019. Hey, this may not be as stimulating as squirming around an old man's knee, but it's far less humiliating. <laughs> You're watching Comedy Central. Hey! This is the end zone here at Comedy Central. Hey, Dom, I don't know about this, man. I mean, I'm just—I'm not a big football guy. I'm not a big football fan. Mark, will you relax, big boy? Come on, we're in Giant Stadium. It'll be, it'll be a blast. No, you don't understand. In high school, I hated the football players. They hated me. It was—it was a fine arrangement. I'll tell you what. You behave yourself. I will show you the exact spot. Where Lawrence Taylor broke Joe Theismann's leg. Oh, don't BS me, man. That was RFK Stadium, November 18th, 1985. It was a Monday night game. All right. You weren't a big football fan. Football, no. Football injuries. That's a different story.
Hi, folks, it's Mark Marin, me, and this is Short Attention Span Theater coming to you from Giant Stadium in the Meadowlands in New Jersey. I'm here with Dom Irer, who you, of course, recognize from the many times you've oh, been on the show. Big, big. We are going to be going behind the scenes. We're going to talk to some players, and we're going to show you some great bloopers from the NFL's best. Mark, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but I don't mean to be rude or nothing by it, but don't you think you should show some NFL players being cool before you show them doing bloopers? Excuse me. Excuse me. Good point. Thank you. Here's some fancy footwork and some hard hitting from uh, NFL's best. Yes. <laughs> hey, this is what we practice for. This is what we play for. The kick butt. Come on, Cowboys! Let's go! Let's go! This is Vinny Paul from Pantera, and it's time to check out the Cowboys from Hell. Hey, y'all start this thing on the run now. Run your ass off. Let's not cheat each other, all right? Let's go. Let's do all we got. Nobody Let's go. Let's go. Cowboys from Hell. This is a dream of mine. I've had this proposed to Jerry Jones before, and uh, they didn't feel like it was a family-oriented enough song, but it would be killer to go da 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 Number eight, Troy Aikman. <laughs> Emmett Smith did it be awesome for him to play that song as a theme. Let's go ahead and hit everything, baby. Hit everything today. I'm the last who we see until nobody touches us at all. They know they're going to win when they go out and play. They have that aura about them. They're just the best team out there, and they're ass kickers is what they are. You know, Dom, if I played professional football, this is where I'd be sitting most of the time. If you play professional football, I would also be doing backflips around the stadium during halftime. You know, you can feel the indentations. Maybe Bart Oates' butt <laughs> curved this in here, or Phil Simms. Maybe. Folks, folks, watch this clip. We'll meet you in the locker room after it. Some of the most colossal follies have taken place in the biggest games. Take Bob Greasy's 29-yard retreat against Dallas, still the largest loss ever in a Super Bowl. After the Browns rudely cut longtime quarterback Bernie Kosar, they gave his job to young Todd Philcox, who promptly handed the Seahawks the fastest score in their history. Todd Philcox about to take his first snap of the season. Drops back to pass, under pressure, steps up, loses the football, loose at the seven-yard line, the Seahawks hit it, and in for a touchdown! And what an inauspicious way for Phil Cox to debut in 93. No giveaway will ever top the Giants' unintentional generosity towards the Eagles in the play the sports writers dubbed The Miracle of the Meadowlands. Under 30 seconds left of the game. From here on in, Pazarczyk can just fall on the football and there is nothing the Eagles can do. And Pazarczyk fumbles the football and picked up by Herman Edwards. But it has happened as the Eagles beat the Giants 19 to 17 before a shock crowd at the Meadowlands. And it still didn't dawn on me what had happened until I went home uh, the next day. I turn on ABC, Good Morning America, and they're showing this play. And then the next thing I hear is they're firing coaches. And I'm going, man, you know, but it'll always be fun. I know that uh, maybe 40 years from now, they'll still be showing that play. And uh, I can say, yeah, that, if they don't remember anything else, they'll remember that about Herm Edwards, that in fact that he picked up the ball in New York and was able to uh, help the team win. Hello again, everyone. I'm Howard Cosell. Welcome to still another Monday night of NFL football right here on ABC. We look for a super game tonight. 
And as you can readily see, I have undergone cosmetic surgery. The face has changed, but the body is superbly unchanged. The is just drunk from the University of Mars. <laughs> He's the scariest guy I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Blitz on again. That's good bye. And completion is Bobby Duckworth. They shouldn't catch him. He has great speed. Good ball. Oh, oh, good ball. ball. I remember uh, looking very closely after the fumble and seeing gloves on Duckworth's hands. Well, here we are in San Diego, perfect ideal conditions, and this fellow's wearing gloves. And uh, I don't think he ever wore gloves again after that. Got a little too much wiggle in his wobble, and the ball just wiggled out. Wiggle and a wobble. <laughs> Funny but sad. <laughs> Turn out the lights. The party's over. <laughs> they say that all good things must end. Second and nine, Kelly. And Whoa, that's got to come there out. Is there a flag? Yes, there is. <laughs> Johnson getting the uh, piggyback ride. And James Lofton. And now if he would have just flipped him over, put him down for the three count, he had a nice pin. Yeah. Ah. You see, Mark, my friend, the word fan yeah. comes from fanatic. Right. The Latin or Roman or Greco. Fano or Wacko. I mean, oh, you right. the passion of these guys. Yeah. It's like a religion to them. Really? Mm. You know, I don't, I don't think I know anybody who's that extreme. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, hit him! 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 Santa hasn't come true for you in years. And guess what? This year is no different. Unless you enter Comedy Central, Santa never comes through for me sweepstakes. Don't get suckered again. Watch for details on how you can win. It's only a movie, except on a Sony big screen TV. Oh, good. Something romantic. Mm. This holiday season, while you're shopping, we'll be dropping a ton of money in the Discover Card Big Payback. Now, every time you use your card, you're automatically entered in our holiday sweepstakes. The more you shop, the more chances you have to win. Weekly bonus prizes of $50,000 or land the ultimate $1 million grant prize. It pays to discover the card with the big payback. Hey, Remington, shave this. If you can grow it, we can shave it. Remington's created the triple foil, the only shaver with three narrow microscreens to cross cut each whisker three times for hard to shave places on hard to shave faces. The Remington Triple Foil. If you can grow it, we can shave it. And for women, a silky smooth shave in or out of the shower, the Remington Wet Dry. Know the code. 1-800-CALL-ATT. It costs less than 1-800-COLLECT. Always. Want a price that's always lower than 1-800-COLLECT? Know the code. Dial 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T. -T. Your true voice. To get noticed, show up in leather. To get leather, show up here. Wilson's, the leather experts. All coats shown on sale, $149.99. You got a room for a rink? What? For what? I thought everybody in the town might be thief. Oh, what's that? Hmm? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. If you've ever been misunderstood, <laughs> don't miss Robin Williams as Popeye. And tomorrow at 8 at Comedy Central, the only all-comedy network. Hot dog! Over here! Hey, hot dog! Gee! Yeah, uh, Dom and I are down here in the locker room at uh, Giant Stadium. We're going to be poking around the lockers a little bit. I hope you don't mind. What do you got? Big time, Mark, with I the do. big stench. Can you smell ooh, it? Ooh, ooh. It's, it's a sportsman-like. Oh, sneakers, yeah. sweatpants, yeah. pads, helmets. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, oh, wow. What is it? Beautiful pink and green. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's cut at the midriff, too. Nice. Very fetching. What else we got? Huh? 
Of course, sexual persona, Camille Paglia. We yeah. are learning something. Oh, excuse me. Oh, whoa, what did I spot? Oh. A priceless Faberge Faberge egg. egg. Well, you got a little extra money laying around. Hmm? I don't think that's a good place for that. Take it home with you. It's like a buffet. Richard Simmons, sweating to the oldies. That's mm. how they get in shape, I guess. Mm. It... Oh, look at this, Don. Oh, oh it's, it's a, a little kitten. God, there's a side to these guys we just don't Hi know there, about. Hey little giant kitten. Oh. Hey there, yes you are. And we have a chance to study some of these stars in action. To see what makes them shine so brilliantly. The rugged bodies and fine physical and mental strength is an example to other players of all ages everywhere. NFL's all-time bench buster is a fellow named Tommy McDonald. During his days with the Eagles, Cowboys, and Rams, Tommy was the last player not to wear a face mask. He should have. I actually got hit one time, and uh, I separated my shoulder, and I even got up with that separated shoulder and stayed in for two plays, and, and then I went out after the two plays, because I didn't want them to know that they hurt me. This tarp tumble ranks among Tommy's very best. <laughs> McDonald wasn't a big pass target, but six foot eight Harold Carmichael sure was, which makes it even harder to believe this shocking vanishing act. Seems like somebody also wanted to make Cleveland's Bobby Mitchell disappear too. Someone should have gotten a snapshot of that. Too bad a sideline photographer never got that chance after his ill-advised rendezvous with the Giants, Phil McConkey. I'm getting suited up. How do they do it with all this tape? That's on perfect, here? man. As long as you can hit. Oh, that's Go good. Ahead, all right, let's Take get this on. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. ready. I am so proud of you. I Hey, come on, Al. Don't say Al. I'm sorry. Football players, it's not a good thing. Uh, you're choking me. Jeez, come on, Al. Oh, boy, hey. Helmet. We're, we'll be out on the field in a second. We got to... Oh. All right. Hey, we got to go to these commercial Ooh. breaks. Easy, will you? Try your part. What's my name? What's my name? What's my name? What's my name? You're watching The End Zone here at Comedy Central. At Chevrolet, we feel everyone, regardless of income, deserves a safe car. That's why we equip the all-new Lumina LS with dual airbags, anti-lock brakes, side guard door beams, child security rear door locks. Sure, anyone can build a car like this. That's easy. We build it so most people can afford it. That's genuine Chevrolet. Wayne Wynn 
Broomfield and Ron Williams were two of the most heavily recruited high school kids in the country. Of course, it wasn't for their game, it was for their minds. And thanks to the Navy College Fund and the Montgomery GI Bill, they have a chance to really use them because they can earn up to $30,000 for college. So, even if the NBA isn't in their future, I guess that's game. A BA is. For more information, call 1 800 USA Navy. By integrating research data with proven technology, Comedy Central's scheduling department has developed a new primetime schedule. Monday. Hmm. How about British stuff? Tuesday night is the best night for Saturday Night Live. Am I convincing at all? No. Every Wednesday is totally free movie night. Wow, how much? Thursday would be a night that utilizes our entire inventory to spotlight a single comical group. Spotlight! Friday night is the perfect night for people to call in their favorite mystery science theater 3000s. <laughs> it's Comedy Central's brand new primetime lineup. Monday's London Calling. Tuesday, it's Saturday Night Live, the first 20 years. Wednesday, totally free movies. Thursday, Spotlight. Friday, play Misty for me. The new order is here only at Comedy Central. Aggressive, A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E, B. Aggressive, A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E, B. Aggressive, woo How you doing, folks? We're here at the uh, Giant Stadium with uh, Howard Cross. You guys just finished practice? Just, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. How was it? It was practice. Right on. Let me ask you something, Howard. When I was a kid, uh, you know, uh, you guys complained about two a day. When I was a kid, we used to play four or five a day practice. Never complained. What about, you know, I mean, uh, <laughs> don't look right, at me no, like that. You want a piece of him? Yeah, you want a piece of him? Let me, let me talk to him a minute. Now, let me ask you a question about getting hit out on the field. You ever been you ever been hit so hard you almost got sick? Nah. You think huh. you, you think you could hit, you hit Mark hard enough to kill him? Is that a nice thing to say? I mean, if you'd like with a running start. Look at him. Wouldn't you like to smash that face? <laughs> Is that a nice thing to say? Mike, you know, we're going to be showing bloopers, <laughs> NFL bloopers. Now, what was this? Well, what was the dumbest thing you ever did on the field? The biggest kind of bonehead thing you ever did? Come out here with you guys and do an interview. Thanks a lot, Howard. That's very nice. So let's take a look at some of those bloopers right now. Getting in the way of the big boys may cause officials to lose their footing, but they always keep their dignity and their sense of mission. Official! Official! He just killed the quarterback. What's the penalty for? Let's get the flag out. Hey! Our quarterback got clubbed in the face and the neck right there. I mean, he's going to live, but that is a penalty. Hey, Bob, you got one thing I want you to look at for me. They are mugging the guy number 48. They've got him by the jersey. Bob, I watched him. His jersey's pulling away from his back. I tell that official he's very helpful. He's standing there like a statue. Oh, excuse me, buddy. You okay? You okay? I don't you okay? take blows like that. I know it. I know it. You okay? Put your hat back on. Yeah. He got nailed. This isn't college. You're not at a home college. I, I, I understand. This is NFL, which stands for not for long when you make them calls. Yeah. I'll be selling Coach. groceries. Once again, I apologize, but I'm just biting my ass off. Here. I, I know, Cody. Folks, we are still here at Giant Stadium. It's a little windy, but you're not going to be able to tell that from looking at this guy because nothing's going to blow him over. This is Eric Howard, defensive lineman, and uh, his two shoulders. you have names for him? <laughs> Pete and repeat. Pete and repeat. Um, when you about to go out on the field, do you have any pregame uh, rituals that you do? Well, yeah, uh, you know, I'm kind of partial to throwing up. Oh, that's a very it's popular nice to one. Purge yourself. Yeah, very good. good thing. What Clean. about in the huddles? Any like really dirty stuff happening there, like somebody snapping your jock or anything like that? How do you mean dirty? Oh, you mean like in a good way, like a good snap at a job. It's kind of perk you up. Oh, hey, how about a song? <laughs> Folks, we're going to take a look at some more bloopers from uh, Polygram Home Video. It's called The NFL's 100 Greatest Follies. You want points? You want passing? You want excitement? No problem with 49ers quarterback Steve Young, the NFL's top banana. So what is this straight arrow, clean cut, great, great, great grandson of Brigham Young doing in this video? Well, Steve has been on hand for a quartet of the weirdest follies in football history. You know, I think there's some times in life where you do the really stupid thing and 
uh, right in the middle of the stupid thing and you're realizing this is the stupidest thing I've ever done, like just from manna from heaven, you know, just comes and saves the day. Steve Young takes the snap. He's straight back. He looks to throw. Now, all right. Intercepted by Tom Bell. Bell laterals it over. Now to Richardson. Oh, no, 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 no. And it's taken by Tampa Bay down the right oh, sideline. Man, this is going to go all the way for the touchdown. And everyone forgets the stupid thing that you did. And that was what's great about that play is no one can remember the interception. I was like, Oh, that was that had to happen so we could do this great play and score a touchdown. So uh, every once in a while, as a quarterback, you need something like that because when you make a mistake, it's usually pretty glaring. In this Steve Young Tampa Bay treasure, the Bucks and Bills switch sports right in the middle of the football game. Four up, fires over the middle, and it is up in the air. Carter battling, looks like volleyball. Is it a catch? It is. That is the strangest play I've ever seen. Just another thing where I almost jumped in the middle of that one. You know, I couldn't get there quite in time, but almost. Hey, we're here with the great wideout, Mike Sherrard. Mike, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good. How's it going? How you good, doing, buddy? Man. Good, good. Right. Let me ask you something. Do you mind if I ask you something? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead. All right. Suppose, you know, like, maybe you got, like, a celebrity or a, or a player, coach, sports writer, anybody that you'd like to strap to a tackling dummy and just take wax at them? Uh, there's a lot. I mean, people get real critical. Names, and, like, <laughs> who would be like in the top three? Yeah, give me names the top and pictures. Three, uh, maybe Howard Cosell. Yeah. Oh, oh somebody dead. who's retired with Parkinson's disease. That's <laughs> real nice. What oh, about? He's not, he's not dead. Okay. What about like somebody who's writing today? Maybe a writer. We you know, like like some little fat critic who criticizes you who can run like a gazelle. Uh, no, they're all great. They're perfect guys. Yeah, they're what, are you, what are you? What are you? A Dom? diplomat all of a sudden? You think Dom would be good? I think we need to bring Eric Howard back and use you as a tackling Whoa. dummy. Eric Howard, I don't think he can take me. Folks, we'll be right back <laughs> after this. You're in the end zone here at Comedy Central. This program is brought to you by the original Shower Massage. This Christmas, give something that will make them ho, ho, ho all year long. Whoa, hey, whoa. Give the shower massage so by Teledyne Waterbury. So Have you ever renewed your driver's license? Had a cash machine? Nice picture. That Fixed one. your car no. with a television. You're having a problem with your rotor. Can you walk me through that? You move your right hand. Oops. Or had an assistant Here. who lived in your computer. The reference material I've gathered for your 10 o'clock meeting, and I'm still working on those playoff tickets. Good boy. You will. And the company that'll bring it to you, AT&T. How many chances do you have in your life to change the quality of life in your own community? That's one of the reasons American Express card members are continuing the charge against hunger. You can go look into the eyes of the people and see that they're doing better. Helped in a real way. Helped by getting a meal. Helped by getting a chance to get back on their feet. Every time you use your American Express card, you'll help provide a meal for someone who's hungry. So help raise another $5 million because the charge against hunger is on again. And I say to you, my brothers and sisters, hell is a deep, dark, foul-smelling prison of the damned. Hills with fire and brimstone, lost souls and demons. And how do you escape this eternal damnation? You blast the nasty pink demons right between their beady little eyes. Doom for the 64-bit Atari Jaguar. How much longer can he last on that battery? Hey, Larry, sometime today? Larry Doty for the birdie. Yeah. Hmm. Hooked it. Okay, I'll get him down. The copper top. Tops them all. Hi, I'm Don Marrera, the host of Offsides, a football comedy show that's funnier than a slap fight between Deion Sanders and Andre Risen. Stop! Catch Offside! Don Marrera, next, here Mom. at Comedy Central. Mommy! Oh. Well, this is coming around again. Here it comes. <laughs> hey folks, it's Short Attention Span Theater and we're coming to you from Giant Stadium. I'm here with Dom Irera who's going to give me some lessons in football. Let me give you your first basic lesson, yeah. Mark. 
All right, go long. Go long. Go. 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 Come on, babe. Go. You can do it. You can do it. End of lesson one. We're here with Adam Schreiber. 11 years out of the University of Texas, still a beef boy. God bless me, Adam. How are you? Very well. Good to see you. Adam's going to teach uh, Mark some long snapping. He does the long snapping for the... This moment of Yuletide joy is brought to you by Comedy Central. Comedy Central's Yule Log is brought to you in part by Mixed Nuts, a new film from TriStar Pictures. Hello, Lifesavers. Believe it or not, this man's job is saving lives. Call him supportive. In my line of work, I deal with all kinds of people. Hello. None of them are what you might call conventional. <laughs> call him understanding. This is all I do all day is deal with not like you! Just don't call him for help. I want to die. May I put you on hold? Steve Martin. You're a marvelous dancer. Thank you. Mixed Nuts. Rated PG-13. At theaters December 21st. Who? Who could see through these little camera viewfinders? Who would rather have a much bigger view like this? It's the Sure Shot Owl. You're sure to get your shot with the Sure Shot Owl. Try to remember the name. <laughs> From who else? A cannon. Still dialing zero to call people collect? Stop. It's expensive. What to do? Dial 1-800-COLLECT. Here's how it works. Just dial 1-800-C-O-L-L-E-C-T and follow the simple instructions. Thank you for calling 1-800-COLLECT. Enter the number you wish to call, area code first. Say your name. Chris. Please hold while we place your call. 1-800-COLLECT. It's easy when you know how. Hi, honey. You know, I want a nanny purse print that's strong enough for any man's body. Because if it can stand up to them, I know it's going to work for me. That's why I use the one that has the most effective ingredients you can get. Secret. Strong enough for a man. But pH balanced for a woman. Hey, Santa. I'm back for another championship. An MVP trophy and a pair of Nike Air Ups. Last year, you led the league in personal fouls, ejections, elbowing. I also led the league in rebounds. All right. I'll give you the shoes. I'm back. Thanks, Sam. Nike Air Up. Get them at foot action. You're too old to sit on a bearded man's lap whispering your secret desires in his ear. So grow up and enter Comedy Central's Santa Never Comes Through For Me sweepstakes. Finally, a shred of hope to get what you want. Look at what you can win. A groovy CDI player from Magnavox. A bold leather jacket from Wilson's. The Leather Experts. A Timex watch. Because it wouldn't be a sweepstakes without a watch. A trip to Jamaica? Sure. You'll stay at the Jamaica Grand and fly on Air Jamaica. And that's not all. Some of you may win... A new line cinema, Dumb and Dumber Hat. Yippee! Don't let Santa burn you again. Just send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to Santa Never Comes Through for Me. Sweepstakes, Comedy Central, 1775 Broadway, 10th floor, New York City, New York State, 10019. Hey, this may not be as stimulating as squirming around an old man's knee, but it's far less humiliating. <laughs> Meanwhile, in fashionable Palm Springs... Here I come. I can fly! I can fly! I can't fly! Oh! I can swim! I did it, and I'm proud. You mean, he'll simply operate on his own from now on? Without further orders from you? Me. You're watching Comedy Central. Hey! Face it, Santa hasn't come true for you in years. And guess what? This year is no different. Unless you enter Comedy Central's Santa Never Comes Through For Me sweepstakes. Don't get suckered again. Watch for details on how you can win. It's double wishbone suspension. Elevate your feel of the road. Its multi-valve engine and speed-sensitive steering elevate your sense of control. While its looks, well, they will elevate your mood. 
Introducing the all-new Dodge Avenger. It's more than just a car. It's an elevator. Who, who could see through these little camera viewfinders? Who wouldn't rather have a much bigger view like this? It's the Sure Shot Owl. You're sure to get your shot with the Sure Shot Owl. Try to remember the name. <laughs> From who else? But Cannon. <laughs> It's scary how clear it is. It's only a movie. Except on a Sony big screen TV. Oh, good. Something romantic. It's common knowledge that the simple act of petting a dog can make people healthier and happier. It's even been suggested that people who own dogs lead longer, fuller lives. Now, knowing what dogs do for you, wouldn't it be nice to do the same for them? You can, by feeding your dog items every day. It's more nutritious because its quality ingredients are more digestible. Iams Dog Food, good for life. From the Iams Company. The real triumph of this year's newest sleek Euro design is how much fun it gives to the gallon. Experience the water-saving shower massage. Watch a new season of Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher, the show where four guests and a host get hot and bothered by the headlines of the day. The issue is there are people coming in to teach them how to use the condoms in school, and that's where I draw the line. I mean, they bring artificial parts into the classroom. Why, 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 why did you draw the that, line? Because wrong? I really think that that is inappropriate. Is it the artificial part? It's not of inappropriate. Yes, I mean... Experience Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. Weeknights at 10, only at Comedy Central. All right, go along. Mark and Dog. They make Aikman and Irvin look like a couple of AMA uh, uh, professionals. Catch them on a special football blooper edition of Short Attention Span Theater. Tonight at 9, here at Comedy Central. End of lesson one. Hop on the satellite of love where cheese and art become one. I like the smell of fresh wood chips and sawdust. I put them in my underwear. Take in Mystery Science Theater 3000. Watch a new episode Saturday night at 7 here at Comedy Central. All we can do is wish them our best. Oh. That was funny. Do it again. Do it again. Boy, Grant, I sure am enjoying this Godzilla movie, and hey, I sure enjoy being your grandson. Ah, keep talking, buddy. You know, I certainly have a master fortune donning dorky bow ties, weaselly glasses, and big boy styled haircuts. Yeah, sure, whatever you say, Grant. You know, Grandpa, I was looking through some Italian fashion portfolios, and there's some great new looks out. You know, maybe we could hire a fashion consultant. Shut up, a... you little cretin. It's my fortune, and I'll decide how we wear our hair. But, but, Gramps, what good is having a bazillion-dollar popcorn empire if no sweet chick will breed with me? Listen to yourself, buddy. It's part of the proud popcorn creed to be without the love of a woman. Uh -huh. How can we concentrate on genetically improving our popcorn if we have extremely abundant members of the weaker sex parading up and down the rows of our high-yield, super-chief, double-whammy, ganga-ganga corn? Sweet fruit juices anointing their bodies. Come on, how would that look? Well, I still want one. Oh, Buddy, get a hold of yourself, man. We're scientists. Yeah, sorry, Gramps. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. When will you be dying, you twisted old ferret? <laughs> Buddy, stop tormenting me. I'm your grandfather. We're of the same blood. We're popcorn. I'm sorry, Gramps, but I can't stop thinking of all that money. I'm really looking forward to the day when you shed your spotty, pockmarked mortal coil. I shed my geeky image, sign on a full-time hairstylist, take dance lessons, and disappear into the night. <laughs> Buddy, you're going to disappear into the night right now if you don't shut up. Don't think I haven't thought of disowning you. I relish the thought. Nightly, nightly, do you hear me? Nightly! Uh, did I mention the fact that our new light has one-third the calories of our regular popcorn? What do you care? You can't afford it. You're flat busted. But our new popcorn au gratin has real cheese flavor. Good. You should get used to it. You're going to be eating a lot of cheese. Government cheese. Disney Classics. The glasses are just 89 cents at Burger King with any Whopper value meal. So the kids get their favorite Disney glasses, and I eat every Whopper. 
It is better to give than to receive. Burger King, get your burgers worth. You know, on Politically Incorrect, we try to consider everybody's opinion. Hey, Bill, Prozac for dogs, why not? Let them have some relief. Bill, what about the communist conspiracy to contaminate our precious emissions? Isn't it time you looked into that? Yes. Yeah, it is. What about federal funding for sex addicts like me? Shouldn't that be considered? You know, it should. I've been doing some research on that myself. It's Watch the new season of Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. Weeknights at 10, here at Comedy Central. It was the 32, no, no, 36 Olympics, and Jesse Owens breaks the stinking world record. So as I turn around in my seat, flip eight off the bird and says, pay up, you cheap crowd bastard. Go, go. For the sketch, Mark Marin and Don Marrero on a special tailgate party edition of Short Attention Span Theater. Tonight at 9, here at Comedy Center. Dom, I was wide open. Oh, Mark, I'm sorry, I didn't even know you were playing. I thought that was pretty good, you guys. I got popcorn in my mouth now. Yeah. <laughs> Think anybody will buy dysfunctional popcorn? Yeah. I don't know. I don't always approve of his actions, but I respect him. We go to Bolivia. With Dodge Neon's dual airbags and side impact beams, the question isn't safety. With the new Neon Coupe's multi-valve overhead cam engine and fully independent suspension, the question isn't performance. Two doors or not two doors, that is the question. Say hello to the other Dodge Neon, the Coupe. And the friendly Dodge dealers who sell it. To burn up all these calories, you'd have to do 1,447 sit-ups. To burn up these calories, you can just sit up. Juicy fruit. Ah. Only 10 sweet calories. One sweet, juicy choice. Could two months' salary last forever? Here's my mind goofing off. My mom says it probably looks like some vegetable, but no plan could be so smart as to pick one machine that plays Sega Genesis and Sega CDs. That's the JVC XI. She could care. Put your mind to work, she says. I say XI comes with Compton's Interactive Encyclopedia. Hey, it's a CD player. Plus, you get stuff for free. So now it's see what you can do when you apply yourself? One mind, one machine. XI, multi entertainment system. Call 1 800 JVC XI. Who, who could see through these little camera viewfinders? Who would rather have a much bigger view like this? It's the Sure Shot Owl. You're sure to get your shot with the Sure Shot Owl. Try to remember the name <laughs> from who else? But Cannon! I've just discovered something quite shocking. Most ordinary credit cards charge interest from the moment you buy something, if you carry a balance as little as a dollar. Thankfully, American Express has introduced a new credit card called the Optima True Grace Card. It has a low interest rate if you choose to extend payment, no annual fee if you use it three times a year, and you get an interest-free grace period on each new purchase, even when you carry a balance. It's a good thing. But don't just throw away your old credit cards. Recycle them. I'm retiling my swimming pool. Apply today. Call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. The sooner you apply for the new Optima True Grace credit card from American Express, the sooner you'll cut your interest charges. It's a good thing. And keep recycling those old credit cards. Apply today. Call 1-800-4-OPTIMA. Think of these new uh, cool limbs I gave you guys, yeah. huh? Just yeah. what you asked for. 
Well, this is not what I had in mind at all. A bent coat hanger? And what's this thing over here? A lobster claw? What's that supposed to do? <laughs> well, Crow, that's for the seafood lover in you. <laughs> oh, sort of a long way to go for a lame joke. Looks like I got the load into the pan that time. Ah, oh, sour grapes, Crow, sour grapes. Look at me. I'm sporting a flamethrower. Here, look. Light that up, will you, Joel? There we go. Ah, ah flame ah. on! <laughs> I am the god of hellfire! <laughs> okay, one. <laughs> Why don't you uh, let it out? No, I try and give it a give it a little. There, thank you. And look over here on the right. I got a Swiss Army knife. Hey, cool, does that huh? knife have a wire cutter? Yeah, it sure does, Krabby. Well, snip off a little bit of this thing, would you? Okay, <laughs> you guys, we have to find a way of segueing out of this into that little film thing we made. Oh. You wanna? You wanna you do, do it, Crow? I'm bitter. Tom? Well, I'll set up the clip for us, Arsenio. <laughs> I mean, Joel. <clears throat> well, for all of you folks who do not speak Japanese, we've translated the Jet Jagar fight song so that you can sing along. I'd tell you to follow the bouncing ball, but uh, we don't have one. Roll that puppy, Cambot. Ito ga 